Hey guys, one second. Let me, you know, got to wait till I'm live to adjust this. So how's everybody doing? Happy Monday. <laughs> Kenny, Ann, hi Ann, how you doing? I'm so glad the hurricane didn't do uh, damage to, well, I'm sure there was some, but you know what I mean. Didn't hit Savannah. Hi, Darla, AJ, Shannon, Elizabeth, Spooky House of Books. <laughs> it's been a while since you've been here. Uh, Kat, CBC, Heather, Ann, Darla, Dawn, Barbara, good morning. Gre uh, Gary's Mixed Bag, Little Sister Cheryl, um, Crafty, Nancy, Shauna. Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Can you hear me okay? Uh, let's see. Who else? Pamela. Creative Moments with Dorinda. <laughs> so, uh, good morning, everybody. Um, let's see. Let me move this up just a little bit. There we go. So, I got a bunch of stuff to show you today, and then I might work in the, um, the YouTube yearbook. So I'm going to, you know, I need to add some more names to it. Y'all can help me with that. And, um, yeah, I got some books, went to a yard sale, got this stuff at yard sale. I got this at the bookstore, got this at Amazon, Amazon washi. And I got a whole pile of books next to me that I got at the um, uh, Friends of the Library sale. If y'all did not see the little friends of the library sale video, it's only like six minutes. Go watch it for me. Make it, make it, uh, get some, get some views. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Oh my gosh. Good to see you, Terry. Um, yeah. So watch that video. It's only six minutes. <laughs> if there's any ads on it, watch the ads. Hi, Janet. Hi, that's an ad, Shauna. Uh, let's see. I know I miss it. Hi, Pacola. Oh, my gosh. I got to show y'all what Pacola did, too. Let me say good morning to Terry first. Let's see. Here, let's turn this up. <laughs> good morning, Terry. Uh, uh, Terry's got shoulder surgery scheduled, last I heard. So hopefully that that's in a, like a week, right? Sh uh, right, Terry, your shoulder. That's so hard to say. Shoulder surgery. <clears throat> and Pacola, oh my gosh, let me tell y'all. She said, D, I, you know, I have like 20 playlists, something like 18, 20 playlists. She said, you need a place for your abandoned, altered books. I said, well, they're all under mixed media. They're all under collage. You can find it. She goes, no, you need, you need an abandoned altered book playlist. I said, okay. So I, I made one and I told her, I said, well, I made the playlist, but I probably missed some because, you know, I've over <laughs> in just the last five years on, on YouTube. And I said, um, so I probably missed some. So what did she do? She made a PDF. I'm not joking, people. She made an abandoned PDF of all my abandoned books. She put check marks next to the ones I uploaded and the ones I missed. So you can see I did miss some. So she made a whole PDF with the list of the episode title, the altered book, the, the book that I altered, a link to the ones I missed, and the date uploaded. She made a whole PDF. I know, right? So she, I told her I was going to send her something. She goes, no, no, don't do that. Well, she's getting something anyway. Um, I told her not to argue with me. <laughs> but anyway, so Pacola did that. So thank you so much, Pacola. I had to shout out. She's an awesome mod. Not that all my mods aren't awesome, but Pacola really goes above and beyond. Um, hi, Janet. Um, who, uh, Julie, hi, Julie. Happy Marvelous Monday. And what do you call Wednesday? You have a name for Wednesday, too. Wonderful. Yeah, Marvelous Monday and Wonderful Wednesday. I got a bunch of washi tapes off of Amazon, really cheap. Now, not huge rolls, but, you know, you get tired of the same ones anyway. So, <laughs> and, so yeah, I got some uh, washi tapes. Why, why is it kind of dark over here? Let's put on another light. 
Uh, it gets kind of dark over in this little corner here. I don't know. That's not better. I probably just made a shadow. That's okay. Um, so let's see. Who else? Yeah, uh, Pacola loves the, the abandoned book. So anyway, guys, if you want to see a um, a playlist of all my abandoned altered books, there is one now. There is an, a, a playlist of them all. <laughs> Janet, don't even call me awesome. I'm in the room with Pacola. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Janet. So, hi, Teresa. Who else am I missing? I know I'm missing. Hi, Norma. And Norma, I have something for you. I don't know if you'll like it, Norma. Norma's sending me a box. She's been sending boxes of Happy Mail out. And she said, I've got one coming. Probably be here tomorrow. So, when I was at the, uh, you know, at the, at the um, looking out for books over the weekend, you know, yard sales, the friends of the library, I came across a book that I don't know if you don't want it, um, uh, if you don't want it, Norma, just tell me and I won't send it. But if you do, I've got, I picked it up for you, Norma. So you don't, don't tell, don't say you like it if you don't want it. <laughs> so anyway, I got something for you, Norma, because you've been uh, sending out so much happy mail to everybody. So uh, yeah. Hi, Sherry Bug. Uh, let's see. Uh, Natalia. Uh, I said hi to Kat and Kenny. So let's see. I'm reading chat. So if you're here for the first time, uh, I do spend a few minutes chatting with people at the beginning of the show. I got a comment. I got a comment and I left it up. I mean, you know, people, you know, if you don't like every, there's a YouTube video for everybody. And they said, I couldn't watch 30 minutes of adjusting a camera. So I just left and I went, well, okay, thanks for stopping by and making that comment. <laughs> but I warned people, this is a chat show. It is chatty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Jean. Welcome back, Jean. Our missing mod who's been off knitting. <laughs> I tease. You know, Jean had some of that hurricane hit her up in Nova Scotia. And she had her electricity go out. Her modem went out. And I had to tease her guys about it. She just had to knit herself a new server and a new router. <laughs> but she's okay. I mean, she did have some uh, videos that she posted that was they're pretty dramatic videos on Twitter. So thanks for posting those jeans. Uh, <laughs> for posting those jeans. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think uh, once she gets all her Christmas presents knitted, she'll come back to us. Come back, Jean. Come back to the light. Come back to the light, Jean. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Your sister was in the middle of it. And yeah, Jean posted a video Her sister from her sister's apartment. Her sister took a video. That apparently, there's a construction site right next to, um, to the apartment. And, you know, those big, huge bundles of insulation, you know, like you put in the wall insulation, the hardboard. Well, it's not hardboard, but it's, you know, boards that you, you know, full, full on insulation that you put inside the walls. Well, they had bundles of, bundles of those just rolling around the parking lot, just rolling around the parking lot. And Jean got uh, her sister. I guess it was her, your sister took the video, right, Jean? And um, so... Hi, Mama Megs. In Florida. Oh, no. I hope everybody is okay, Mama Megs. Darla, Amy. I know I'm missing people coming. Melody. Hi, Melody. Melody's got a surprise coming for us, guys. I won't tell you what it is. She just told me about it. So Melody's got a surprise coming for us. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, hi, Robin. It was your niece. Okay. It was your niece, your niece and NBC, uh, the, uh, the Canadian NBC used her video. I know I saw you tweet that G Jean. That was awesome. I mean, not that it happened, but you know, uh, yeah, that she used it. All right. Let's see. Mama Megs has a channel now. Uh, Ann said, okay, I'll follow it later. Y'all click on Mama Megs and go follow Mama Megs. Thank you. Um, Ann. Some people are kind of, it's kind of funny. Some people come in and just follow me, follow me. And then some people, you don't even know they have a channel unless somebody else says it. Hiya, Sammy. Hiya. Uh, let's see, uh, Katrina. 
So anyway, I do spend, there's Sarah, I do spend uh, some time saying good morning to people. So, you know, all you have to do is fast forward past that part. It's not hard. Just slide that little slider past the part if you don't want to see people chatting. That's okay. <laughs> but I leave the chat up. I, I When I uh, upload, well, when the video is fully rendered, my chat stays up so you can follow along with the chat. I, you know, I know the show's not for everybody. That's why there's a, a millions of videos out there. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, let's see. AJ, color with canvas, Sean. Hi, Sean. Terry L, Linda, uh, Linda Morell. What did I? Where did I see you this weekend, Linda? I saw you somewhere on somebody's video. Uh, maybe it was at Zandra's. Hi, Lena and Lena and um, Kathy. Oh, no, baby, Lena. Let's see, Kathy Berg. Who else? Um, Beth. Some some of the girls are doing some uh, group hangouts. They're doing some group hangout. Uh, Colleen. Who else is in the, that group? Colleen, uh, I'm trying to think. I know I'm missing one person. But anyway, there's a bunch of them doing um, doing group chats and four or five of them working on different things. Let's see. Hi, Anne. Happy Monday. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that's washy. Yeah. I, and I got on Amazon, guys. It was like, I don't know. Uh, $15 or something like, and there's a whole bunch of different, uh, washi sets you can buy. These all came in tubes. They came in tubes. I took them out of the tubes and just poured them in a basket. I just thought I'd show you some of the colors there. Uh, but yeah, this came in, this came in from Amazon. And so I'm going to got happy mail books, yard sale stuff. And I got a stack of books over here that I got from the friends of the library sale. Go watch that six minute video I put up guys. I want to do more small, short videos, but you have to watch them because if you don't watch them, the views just go. <laughs> Gotta watch those little videos. So uh, <laughs> hi, Judy. Let's see who else am I missing? Um, yeah, I like the fish too, Terry. It's got different ones on the back and the front. Isn't that cool? Elena, let's see who else do I uh, do I miss? Yeah, because I need <laughs> Jean. Jean, I need more washi like you need more yarn. <laughs> you watch a comment. Okay, I haven't checked my comments this morning, Julie. Um I hadn't had a chance to, because uh, I checked my mail. I have a little system and a little thing I do every morning to, you know, stay organized. It's just, and I don't even have to think about it. It's just what I, how I do it. So I check my comments after the this video goes up and I'll check while that's rendering. And while I'm watching Janet, I will, you know, off and on check my comments, try to, you know, multitask. And don't forget, Janet comes on at one. Uh, so, and I am going to, I do plan on working. We'll see how time goes. I plan on doing a little bit of work and I want y'all to help me decide, well, not decide, but, you know, put your name on the list if you want to be in the uh, YouTube, your book. And I, <laughs> we use that term, you know, uh, Laura is the one that named it the year, your YouTube yearbook. And it's not like, it's not, <laughs> don't think of, oh, it's YouTube doing something. No, it's just our friends on YouTube in a book. <laughs> uh, Debbie the doodler uh Jean, <laughs> yeah right right Norma so all right well we're gonna go and get started oh let me tweet real quick let me tweet that's another thing sometimes I forget to do I try to remember to tweet I mean everybody knows that that's regulars here you know uh what when we come on but I still like to do it and it, and by the way the show's called coffee and art in the morning um, even though most of the time I'm drinking cranberry juice. So my voice, so my voice stays, um, going here. Hi, Lynn J. Let's see. All right. Let me, let me, art in the morning live. And sometimes mom's here in the background. Mom, um, mom watch. She doesn't chat, but she, uh, she watches. Let's see. There's my little, where's my little artist palette? There we go. Link in profile. There we go. 
So, uh, yeah, so it's good to have everybody here. Uh, I, I did watch a few minutes. I didn't watch all y'all's whole hours and hours of show, Lena and Colleen and Kathy and Beth and one more person I'm missing. There was five people there that yesterday. So, but I did pop in and out and Lena, I had to laugh. I had to laugh at your girl with the but the butterfly moth on her face. <laughs> and you're so funny in your comments. Lena is a hoot. If y'all don't follow Lena's channel, you need to. She is so funny. So anyway. Oh, Shauna. Shauna. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Shauna. If I would have seen you here, I would have remembered. So Shauna. Shauna's the other one that was there that uh, yesterday. So uh, I don't know. How long did y'all stream? All day? <laughs> I didn't watch it all, but I did pop in here and there. Lena is hilarious for sure, Gene. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. And I remember, if, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps because, you know, chat goes flying by. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. And uh, you two art therapy, Mama Megs. Okay, go get tortured at the dentist. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, the way people y'all uh comment on things. Okay. So um yeah, thanks for the thumbs up. You know, the more thumbs up, the more we do giveaways. <laughs> Just saying. Uh not trying to not trying to influence you. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I like having fun here. Okay, <clears throat> so uh let's start with some washi tape. I poured them in here. Like I said, they came in little tubes, like five or six tubes. I think there's 48 colors. Now, what I didn't expect when I got the 48 colors or 48 uh, patterns was that on each pattern, at the end of each pattern was a little thin one. Let's see here. I'll have to move this out of the way. Uh, was a little thin one. Why is, am I missing a light somewhere? Why is it kind of dark today? Do I need to lighten up? I don't know. I guess it's okay. But anyway, there was a thin one attached. It was like an off cut or something, but it's different. I mean, they're not, it's not like the same. Some of them are the same pattern, but some are just stripes. So anyway, it was like attached. So when I took them out of the tube, this is making it dark. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let me see here, guys. Maybe I need to, maybe I do need to lighten this up just a little. There we go. Okay, I think that's better. I think it's just when I put my hands up, it makes it dark. So it was nice to have these little, hi, Ashley. Dee Dee, your fingers up with the washi rings. Oh, load them up. Load my fingers up with the washi rings. Like put them all on here. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so all of them came with small like the little now of course you're not going to be able to see any of these you'll be able to see some colors but there's like 48 of the of the colors and then there was 48 of these hang on let me try to dig them all out for terry here let's find all these rings the small ones are all of course fell to the bottom here now a couple of these like these right here these these were just some extra ones that i've been using so they're not part of it that's not part of it i think all these are Oh, there's another one that's not part of it. Okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, there was just tons of them. And now there's not a lot on there. You know, there's not a whole lot on it. But, you know, like I said, you get tired of the same washi tapes. And Faithful Mess, I haven't watched it yet, but I got notification. And apparently she is um, she is sorting and, and organizing her washi tapes. And I'm anxious to see her videos. These two are not. That wasn't part of the purchase. Um, hang on guys. I'm not looking at chat. I, I want to go watch her videos on her washi tape because she does little washi tape books. She used to sell them. I don't think she's started doing that again. Okay. Look, <laughs> there you go, Terry. Uh, <laughs> there's all the small ones that I didn't even expect to get. Yeah, so if y'all see Faithful Mess come in, I know she, you know, she has to pop in from work sometimes. So, um, hi Arlene, who I know I'm missing people. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> There's the ones that are, were all attached. These were attached. 
I mean, not like stuck, stuck, but they were just like, you know, the tape stuck them together. So there was one on every single one. And I just, you know, popped them off, right? So, yeah, I thought this was very, this was like a bonus. And look at that. That does look cool, Terry. <laughs> Screenshot it, Terry. <laughs> Okay, so there's all the um that that was all the ones that came attached. Hi Devin. Let's see. I separated the thin ones. Not sure what I'll do with them. Yeah, if you Robin, if you do any kind of I don't do planning, but I do use planners and I'll put quotes and other things in them. And plus now that I'm doing my uh YouTube yearbook, I'll probably use them in there too. <coughs> Little borders. <coughs> Let me get a sip of juice. Little borders, right? Hi, Iffy. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to take them all off the uh, spool. Let me see. How can I show this? No, I guess, I don't know. Maybe that does do better right there. The darkness in the background helps show. These are some little bows. Let me just go through them quickly. Um, some of them I might show you because they're really cool. Like this one with little rabbits. And uh, they're Japanese. They're Japanese washi tape, so they have the different floral, Japanese florals. Um, very pretty. Now, I, I, I will show them to you in another way in a minute. Well, in a little while. Because I made me, and I got to tell you, Faithful Mass, uh, like I said, I don't think she's here. But, you know, some months ago, she's, she did her, um, you know, she was selling washi tape books. And uh, and then she stopped doing it. But anyway, so I got the idea from her to swatch. Swatch your washi. So wait, I swatched, guys. I know y'all going to think this. Oh, but that is so anal. I swatched all my washies over the weekend. Um, oh, she is getting more ready. So I will be buying. I'll be buying one from her when she gets them back up in. Uh, but anyway, and I don't think I need any more washies, but it's kind of like, you know, when you swatch paint, <laughs> I'll show y'all in a little while. I put it in my, uh, I put it in my YouTube yearbook. <laughs> it just makes me giggle. It makes me happy. So I'm kind of just showing you them really quickly. Some swans. You'll see them better in a, when, when you see them swatched. <laughs> You'll see my washi, swatched washi. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to hear that, Robin. Yeah, I'm glad to hear she's making some. So like this one, I'm gonna some of the pattern ones I want to kind of pull out just so you can kind of get an idea. Here. So like there's Fuji, Mount Fuji, and some different uh, designs there. Yes, I know, Terry. Okay, so let's see this one. I'm going to show you a couple here. <clears throat> So it's gonna have kind of like a little show and tell day, and I got I got a I got uh, something for Norma. Y'all know if y'all have been getting something from Norma lately, she she has the most generous giveaways. I mean, so I found something for her, and again, I don't know if she's gonna like it, but you know, Norma is in Branson, Missouri, and she does um, she and her husband own a limo company. So anyway, but okay, hang on, let's open this one. But she sends out the most awesome uh, giveaways. And she said, I have one coming. It should be here tomorrow. Look at this one. It's lemons and cherries. Can y'all see that? Lemons and cherries. And uh, so I found something for her. So again, if, if she wants it. She won't hurt my feelings if she wants. Oh, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I know. I know. This one has some little uh, plums, plum tree. Uh, let's see. What's this one? What is this one? Oh, what is that? It's some little, oh, it's some little flowers and butterflies. Flowers and butterflies. I think there's even one in here for Eileen. <laughs> I say with an evil laugh. <laughs> there's that one. So they're all a little, really pretty. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Here's, is that it? No, that's not it. <laughs> Eileen usually doesn't make it here till after a while. I, I, I miss what Janet said. Uh, Norma doesn't have a channel, Mama Megs. Uh, although she did do a video, there's some rabbits. She did do one of the girl, the group, uh, group, uh, videos. If someone has a link to the one where, um, 
Shauna, do you ha do you remember which person's channel Norma visited? Was it Kathy's? I think it was Kathy Berg. Go to Kathy Berg's channel and Norma visited on one of the hangouts. It's the only time I've ever seen her on a video so far. <clears throat> She's still swatching her washi as well, and the gal has some washi. Um, are you are you talking about faithful mess, Anne? Oh, there we go. So thanks, Pacola. There's a link to when Norma was a guest on Kathy Berg's channel. Uh, Pacola, just put it in there. Oh, look at this one. Look how cute. Uh, they're all, I mean, I like them all. I like these Japanese washi tapes. Uh, my um, daughter, Annie, got me some um, MT tapes some years ago for my birthday. Uh, if you go to Etsy and look for MT tapes, you can get the, the or just go on Amazon, you know. Norma said, my hubby just bought me a webcam this week. All right, Norma. So we can be expecting, and her voice is so, she has a great voice, Norma does. It was the first time I'd ever heard her voice. Okay, so there's this one. This one I kind of got off kilter there. I got this one. I, when I pulled a piece of this off, I got it off kilter. There we go. So that one's really pretty, like poppies. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think this was a 48 set, but then you got all those, oh, that one's not part of it. Um, you got, uh, you got those small ones as well. MT tapes are the best. Yes, they are. MT tapes are, they are awesome. I don't know who may, I don't know who manufactures these, but you know, look, there's not a whole lot on there, but that's, a, that's quite a couple, you know, that's probably at least three feet. You know, that's that's probably all you're going to need of one particular tape before you get tired of it. <clears throat> so, yeah, this one has little girls on it. So, oh, yeah, let me start that one messed up. So I'll just, you know, stick this. I have little places over on my table where I have left little pieces of leftovers. <laughs> so again, I'll, you'll see them more close up when I show you my uh, swatching in a little bit. So yeah, I got this basket and I just threw them all in here because it's easy to dig through. Oh, wait, there's all those little ones. I, I love that on my fingers. That was kind of cool, uh, Terry. <laughs> so here's all those little ones. I'll put them to the side there. So, yeah, so I can just kind of dig out. Now, here's the only problem with doing this, guys, for me. I don't have a lot of desk space here, and this takes up a lot of room. So it's piling, you know, it's starting to pile. Things are starting to pile because I don't have a lot of desk space. Um, you have an eye for cool? <laughs> yeah, you do, Terry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyway, guys, I wanted to share that, which I'll be using it in um in the uh year two uh YouTube yearbook in a little while. And then these are just some tapes that I've been using and I just put them in the bowl because I've been using these. So the, I just threw them in there. Okay. Next, um, let me show you what else I got at the yard sale here. I got these at the yard sale and I thought that they were very cool. Um Let's get my light here. I, I thought these were very cool to use in, uh, you know, your junk journals, <clears throat> backgrounds. You know how we all use our paper stuff. And they were just, you know, a couple dollars for ev all of it. So, I, you know, <coughs> couldn't pass that up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but Julie, Julie goes, Terry, stop eyeballing me. <laughs> Okay, so look at these old books. And I think that most of them are from the 60s, I think. I looked at them. This one's from 1971. I think this is the newest one. <laughs> but this one's like trims. Now, they weren't 25 cents. I think she had them in some other yard sale at some time. Or now, like this. This might have been the original price. This little 29 cent. These look original. Yeah, see, that's not even taped on there. That's just on there. These were... Um, from another sale she might have had. You're making a sewing junk journal right now. These are so cool. Yeah, they are. And just, you know, you just pick them up. You just have to look at yard sales, flea markets. Look at this one, the work basket. 
home art magazine. Look how old this is. And I love the ads. See, I like reading the ads. This, that's to me, this is the best part. You know, oh, look, Marshall's new photo painting pencils. Photo painting. So I guess you, um, you know, have black and white photos you want to paint. So cool. Electric shavers. <laughs> uh, no money down. Live in Florida. Home sites from $495. <laughs> you remember these old singer books, Terry? See, I never sewed. Grandma sewed. I don't think mom ever sewed either. Grandma did. So grandma would have had stuff like this. Um but anyway, so I picked up, you know, they all, they're, they're, like I said, they're all just like a couple dollars for all of them. <clears throat> Let's see here. So into spring. 50 Valentines. Oh, I'd love to be able to get those now, wouldn't you? Those old vintage Valentines. I have some in an old scrapbook that I've got at a flea market, uh, but I'm not sure where it is right this minute. It's downstairs sometime, somewhere. D, I have over a thousand. I bought Michael's box hold lot with smaller storage of old old magazines, Tanya. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Or I'm talking about Valentine's. Um, old Valentine's. I know. I'm not sure which one you meant, Tanya. But anyway, so I'll, I'll go through them, use them. I'll probably just give some away. Uh, now, I did use to cross-stitch because I had to cross-stitch because I worked for a cross-stitch company uh, back in the 80s. Um, so, anytime. Now, I don't know. This is, uh, I don't know what brand of, you know, we use DMC floss. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, how to hang wall covering. Of course, I used to work in visual merchandising, decorating uh, rooms. So I have had my full share of wallpapering rooms. I could probably wallpaper a room in an hour. Well, not probably not anymore, but I could. I could back in the nineties. Okay, let's see. Um, so just a little. Here's a crochet. Maybe I should send this one to Jean. Jean, would you like this one? Jean, or no, you don't crochet, Jean. You just knit. Or do you crochet too, Jean? I don't remember. Do you crochet, Jean, or do you just knit? <sighs> yeah, that's true, Kenny. Grandma used to make our clothes when we were in elementary school, but you can't make them cheaper than you can buy them now. You crochet. I'm going to send you this, Jean. Not that you're going to crochet something like this, although I can remember mom actually having a sweater just like that. And sweater sets. Sweater sets. But it has some cool things. And even if you don't, oh, look. That was like your little, your little niece there. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe, Jean, I think you might just like it just because you like to crochet, Jean. So it's got the patterns in there. Irish crochet, hairpin lace, tote. Oh, your own little tote. <laughs> I'm going to send that to Jean. <laughs> yes, twit sweater sets. Yes, Terry. I know, right? <clears throat> Sassy pants. That's my nickname for Jean. Sassy pants. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Oh, oh, and speaking of giveaways, guys, anybody, high schools, if you find Alana, Alana's not sent me her address. She won this last week, and she has not sent me her address. Or if she did, I look, I check my spam folder. I cannot, I don't know her. She was the first time I'd ever seen her. So Alana won this last week. And I can't send it to her because I don't have her address. We gave her my email to send her for her to send me her address, and she she hasn't done it. Or if she did, it didn't get to me. So uh, Alana, if you're watching this, I need your address to send you your flow book you won last week. I have a big stack of mail I'm sending out tomorrow. I'm gonna make a special run to the post office because I was gonna go Saturday. 
right? I was going to go Saturday and mail that and some stuff. Well, I didn't have Alana's address. She never sent it to me. So um, I'm going to make a special run tomorrow to the post office. So I usually only go on Saturdays. Oh, what did Scooby say? Oh, I missed something. Let's see. I had a great haul, American Barbie house, original, 189, a stove with sink, Disney Barbies with books. Where'd you go, Scoops? A stroller. Did you buy all that for your, your granddaughter? You can, you can fess up. You can fess up, uh, Scooby. <laughs> you have a new granddaughter too, Robin? Congratulations. Um, um, I don't have her address though, Melody. Oh, well, here, let me put it this way. Not in Ilana. That's her chat name. Here's the thing, guys. When you send me your address, you have to tell me your chat name. I don't know. I don't know who you are. Like if I didn't know Pecola, I wouldn't know her real name is Helen. So she sends me an address. I'm Helen. Here's my address. Well, who are you? You see, you have to give me your, your chat name. So Alana, if you sent me your address as another person in your real name, I don't know who you are. So y'all got to connect me up here, people. Connect me up. <laughs> let's see erica who else am i missing bye Max. all right so anyway let's see the work basket this one's got just all kinds of little you know look at these classified ads in the back look at this one janet old stamps wanted i pay 250 dollars each for 1924 one cent Green Franklin stamps. So, it, you know, this, let's see what year is this. This is 1965. This is 1965. Thank you, Kenny. Please do, because I don't know her real name. And I get people sending me their addresses every day. And if you don't tell me, oh, I'm the one that won the book and here's my name, I don't know who you are. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. How to make belts and hems. Um, how to measure, alter, and fit. I mean, I just thought these were so cute. I mean, for a couple bucks. This one was uh, a singer's sewing library. What year was this one? This is a 1960. That's 1960. Hi, Karen. Hi, Janice. I know they're so fun. And then these, I, the same person that was selling this, they're moving to they're moving to Tennessee, had all these old um hankies and they're very old. I mean, I'll probably wash them and re-iron them, but th she had these for sale. She had a whole stack of these. She said she sold about 200 of them before I even got there. So <clears throat> and she was selling everything really cheap. So I just bought two of those. I thought, you know, maybe in a book, you know, maybe in an altered book or something. Uh, yeah, that was right. <laughs> it goes, I'm obviously not a real collector. <laughs> okay, thanks, Sam. You have a good one. And then this, if, uh, how, how many of y'all will recognize what this is? If you're not in the South, you may not know. Does anybody know what this is? <clears throat> I will let you, uh, I'll let you guess what this is. There you go. If he got it first, a fan. Yeah, it. Uh, you know, back in the day in churches, there, before air conditioning, now this would have probably had a wooden, like, a, you know, how a tongue depressor stick looks. It would have probably had a piece of, you know, a wood stick on here. Maybe not. And it looks like it did. Um, and they're fans. Fans using, because there was no air conditioning. So it was a church fan. So, I, yeah, she she had one of these. That, well, she had, she had a couple of them, but I just got this one. Because it just looks so vintage. Doesn't it look so vintage? Or it could be a funeral home fan too, Elena. Yeah, uh, funeral homes had them too. But usually, funeral home ones had their um, funeral home information on the back. So because this one didn't have any funeral home information, I just uh, figured it was just a church one, not a funeral home one. So I bought that. So that I got at the yard sale. Now let me show you the books that I got. Um, all but one, I think I got. All right, let me go ahead and show you this one first because this is the one I got for Norma. And Norma, please, if you do not, if you do not think this is something you would want, just tell me. It's okay. 
Your, your church still doesn't have an AC? Oh, then you need a fan. <laughs> Julie. Um, you have the accordion. You have the accordion type fans. Yeah, there's all different kinds. That one was just very vintage. Very vintage. Okay, so I got this. And it came with a little packet of stuff. It's Marty Stewart Pilgrims. It's called Sinner Saints and Prophets. Marty Stewart. So if you are in, you know, if you're anywhere around country music, um, <laughs> you know, or anything like that. So anyway, I love this. Now look at what it comes with. It comes with a packet here. It comes with an autograph picture. Came with an autograph picture. And the woman that sold it, she goes, oh, yeah, there's a picture in there, signed picture. So anyway, it's it's got all this information. It's got a whole packet of stuff in here. It's got all kinds of photos, it, little, I don't know what all. I didn't read it all. His story. Um, it, it, it's all, it's a whole book about him. So anyway, I, I kept that I kept that in here. So I thought it was cool. You do like it? Oh good, Nora. So this is going to Norma. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna send you the autograph picture and everything. So it's just like it, I don't know, it's just all different saints. What is it called? Saint sinner saints and and prophets. And it's all like just country, western music. Look, there's Johnny Cash. It's all about country music. And I figured Norma in Branson, Missouri would really get, uh, you know, look, there's the, here's the, the uh, songs and lyrics. There's Dolly Parton. Let's see. <clears throat> Isn't it cool, though? I mean, I thought it was cool. I'm not into country music, even though I grew up in Texas. But um, I thought this would be a nice little thank you to Norma because she's always doing stuff for us. I don't even know what year it came out. Let's see what year was this book. Let's see. 1999. 1999 with a little packet of stuff. So, yeah, that's for you. That's for Norma. Hi, Nana. So, um, yeah, <laughs> All right, let's put that to the side. And I'll show you the, other, the books. Well, I'll show you these last. I'll show you the books that I got at the uh, library, Friends of the Library sale. I did, don't forget, I did a little six minute video. <laughs> Go watch it. Not right now. <laughs> You're welcome, Norma. But I did a little six minute video, so y'all go watch it. Okay. <clears throat> so I was actually going to try to do a 10 minute video, but my thumb touched the off button <laughs> while I was recording. So it's only like six to seven minutes long. So I, I told y'all that I would show anything I bought. I'd show it on today's show, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So this is The Secret of Blue hill library shadows of the past emily thomas and it's a it's a cozy mystery i like to read these every now and again if it has to do with the library books you know a book somebody owns a bookstore and they're and they solve murders you know cozy mysteries like you'd see on the hallmark channel right <laughs> sometimes these are just nice to read at night you know um Let's see. Julie goes, I'm going to go to the book sale next Monday. We have them quarterly. Yeah, see, ours, the Friends of the Library <coughs> used to have an old barn. It was like a barn that they were trying to build a library. So they built a library. And now they have a room and these and two, um, like, credenzas of books. And, I, and, and you'll see it in the video. So the, the friends of the library are still in that library that they helped build. I know they are. And hi, Colleen. We we're talking about you earlier. So anyway, I got a, uh, um, a cozy mystery that I'll just, you know, it'll take about a day to read. I mean, you know, a night or two. And then this is the, one of the other ones that I showed. Um, now, I read the, I started, I didn't at the bookstore. I mean, at the um, library thing. I didn't read it there. But I thought, oh, look at this. Look. Obviously an artist, a cartoonist, 
And Hupster says, oh, I, I think I've heard of Bill Malden. Well, he was um, during World War II and after he was a um, <clears throat> editorial cartoonist and did military and was in the military. So um, anyway, I'll read you the intro here. My voice will hold up. <coughs> Bill Malden, America's most widely read editorial cartoonist, has written an autobiographical, and he's written mo lots of books. I think he's got about 10 books out that I know noted. Uh, this was his first one. It came out, I think, in 1971. This was his first book, an autobiographical book about his life. And I'll flip through here in a minute. Uh, autobiographical account of 10 years in the life of a cheerful delinquent whose character was formed in such places as Mexican mining town an Arizona desert homestead and a New Mexico mountain apple farm. He survived a broken home full of loving but combative relatives and came down out of the hills at the age of 13 in the fourth year of the Great Depression, bearing a drawing tablet which bore but one commandment, thou shalt win. In the course of his next wild decade, he became a freelance sign painter and was thrown into jail at 15 while riding a freight train to an assignment as a sports artist for a high school paper. At 17, he made his way to Chicago to study art, drawing magazine gags and washing dishes for meals. As a budding political cartoonist at 18, he worked both sides of the Arizona gubernatorial contest, which led logically to a refuge in the Army as a volunteer, a year and a half before Pearl Harbor. Uh, driven by ambition, um, talked about where he was in the Army, was eventually assigned to Stars and Stripes, which is like the military uh, newspaper. Um, he won his first Pulitzer Prize before he was 23, became the young, youngest biography in Who's Who, and realized the success he had sought, even as the war and the men who had fought it got under his skin. Wounded once and scared often, he prowled the foxholes with his pencil, learning new values and maturing from a gag cartoonist to a satirist of such depth and stature that he is still considered the best of all war cartoonists. His career was summed up by an army historian who recently remarked, there will never be another Malden. The Pentagon would never allow that to happen again. And so again, this was in 1971 when he wrote this one. So, um, but it's, it's his whole, um, his history. And it starts off from, you know, and there's just hundreds of pictures. Like every, like this is one of the first things, this is a, one of, he drew that at age 10. Um, things like that, little drawings throughout. And, you know, he's an editorial cartoonist, so you're going to see a lot of that in there. But his whole family history is in here. That book's as old as you, Erica. <laughs> and, uh, you know, talks about, and like I said, every practically every other page is photographs. Let me see here. Let me zoom in. There go. And it's just very cool. So I will be reading this because, you know, anything about uh, the life of an artist is going to interest me. I found another uh, good one. Well, I found, I found, I'll have to pull out some of the old books that I found at sales on cartoonists and uh, artists from the past. But there's just tons of photos and his drawings and his life. <clears throat> so, oh, thanks, Bacola. Yeah, Bacola's good about putting links to you guys' channels. Um, yeah, so, oh, look, Terry. Look how he uh, did his, uh, look how he did his chapter titles. Every title, he has another ring on his finger. <laughs> Uh, I know Nanamo, right? So, yeah. But, you know, I like reading the history of how he got started, where he went to school, what he did, you know. 
uh, and I'm skipping over lots of pictures here. It, like I said, guys, it's practically every third page is photos. <clears throat> but just so you can kind of see some of his, and these would have been, I think he did, he went, he was in World War II, Korea and Vietnam, if I'm not mistaken. So, and he, I think he passed away in 2008. I looked it up on Wikipedia. I think he passed away in 2008. He was like 81 or something like that. So, yeah. Just tons and tons of pictures. I, of course, I love it when, it, when, you know, books have pictures of the art and the, you know, what happened to them. And so, yeah, that... Uh, That's what that one's called, Brass Ring, Bill Malden. And he apparently has other books out too. <laughs> Wash your ring. Yeah, Devin. So he titled title it A Sort of a Memoir. Okay, so there's that. Let me show you some of the other ones here. But I got a few more. I found, y'all might have saw, uh, if you watch the video, the little six-minute video already. Let me move this. It's putting a shadow here. Let's move this out of the way. Um, the complete films of Laurel and Hardy. And uh, it was so funny because like at six o'clock in the morning, um, Laurel and Hardy comes on with a little short on, I forget what channel it is here, uh, that, and there's a couple of the old shows like that. And it was so funny because that morning Hubster was watching the whole Laurel and Hardy where they're trying to, you know, one of those Indiana Joan bridges, like a wood and rope bridge. And they were trying to move a piano across one of those bridges, <laughs> trying to move a piano across one of those little rope and wood foot bridges. But anyway, um, so it was so funny that I came across the book about all their films. Yeah. So I bought it for him. Yeah. I bought this for Hubster. So it's it's like all the films. I, I mean, I would I should look for that one. I bet it's in here somewhere. Uh, I haven't looked through this one yet. Hubster did. He he went through it and read all, all you know a lot of it. We read a lot, and we read you know we can read pretty fast. So um, anyway, I would love to find that one with the bridge, but uh, it might be in here. If it is, I'll have to show it to Hubster because we talked about that. We talked about that for like twenty minutes. <laughs> it was funny. So yeah, um, I said, "Well, what do you know about Laurel and Hardy?" Because oh, I don't know much except, and I don't even remember which one. One of them's from, uh, is it Hardy? I think it's Hardy. Is from somewhere here in Georgia, but uh, I don't remember the Hubster would know. But so anyway, it's uh, yeah, I got all the different movies, and you know, but I'm gonna have to look for that one with the bridge and the and the piano. Cause that was pretty, uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> you gotta like some slapstick humor every now and then, you know? I mean, I don't know. I haven't done it in some years, but I, Oh wait, there it is. I just saw it. I just saw it. There it is. <laughs> There's the one. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to Hubster. <laughs> Look, they're trying to move the piano across the footbridge. Oh my gosh. I got to send that to Hubster in a uh, text. Um, the, you know, have you, does anybody know what the curly shuffle is in the three stooges when curly lays down on the ground and, and spins around? Woo, 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 woo. I used to be able to do that. Um, I would entertain some of my office friends uh, when I would do that. Sometimes. And no, I wasn't drinking. <laughs> but anyway, oh my gosh. Um, all right, back to some more. Okay, here's some more books that I got. The library said so these are all two dollars each, guys. They're all two dollars each, and I actually got this one for a giveaway because I have hundreds of calligraphy books. I have so many calligraphy books. Uh, I don't need this, but I got it for a giveaway for two bucks. And calligraphy, you know, I mean, what they do with it, the styles can change, but the techniques and the skills are usually pretty much all standard in these books. So it's not like they go out of style, you know? Oh, thanks, Norma. Yeah, I do find good books, but I look for them. Uh, we have a flea market 
like right down the road for well, not right down, maybe five miles from us. There's a big, huge flea market. And I've been, I've shown pictures. I didn't film in there, but I have shown photos on uh, Twitter of the flea market uh, booths. And, um, and there's a, one booth that is all books. And I haven't been back for a while. I need to go back to the flea market to the book booth. And um, so, yeah, you need <laughs> I like I said, man, I'm, I haven't done it for years. So I could probably still do. You gotta have a slick space. You gotta do it on a floor. Cause you have to use your feet to spin yourself around. You know, you can't do it like on the carpet, not very easily anyway. Hi, Laura. So yeah, Laura, we're gonna uh do look through my and I haven't done too much. I've just started making some lists and things and did I did do a friends of the library page in my YouTube yearbook. Um, and a couple other things. And I did want to maybe start one. Hi, Ian. I like the one with the moving the piano up the set of stairs. Yeah. There's so many of them like that. There's one when they're trying to hoist it up, Ian, hoist it up on the outside of a, you know, and apparently that's kind of common, especially back in the day. You had to hoist the pianos up on the outside of the building and go through the window to get them up on, you know, <laughs> in the buildings. Okay, so anyway, callig calligraphy school, step by step guide to find our lettering, Gaynor Goff and Anne Ravenscroft. And I think I have some books by Anna Ravenscroft. Um, let's see what year it is. I didn't check. It was a Reader's Digest Learn As You Go guide. And let's see, this came out in 1994. So to me, that's not that old. I have a lot of books older than that on calligraphy. But uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put this in my giveaway pile. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get, do a giveaway today. Is, would anybody be interested in a calligraphy book giveaway? I don't know how many of y'all are even interested in calligraphy. And I'm not talking about brush lettering. I'm talking about calligraphy. There's uh, not, not, you know, I, it's kind of technical, but this is, this is, you know, the nibs, calligraphy with nibs, not with the brush or the markers, like we've been doing brush lettering and brush lettering can be with brushes or markers or a lot of different things. Um, <laughs> <Rachel Dairy. laughs> so uh, <coughs> I have tons of books like this. Because I used to do calligraphy, you know, especially back in the 80s. I was in calligraphy guilds and things like that, you know, before we had desktops where you could just print out fonts and things. Um, and so, uh, yeah, Janet and I both have tons of books on lettering, calligraphy, clip art, all that stuff. And uh, but anyway, so, you know, this is your standard. It's a standard calligraphy book. It's, you know, this is what you're going to find in most calligraphy um, tutorials, right? Okay, well, we're going to have to get up. Um, we have over 150 people here. We've got to at least get up to 100. Let's get up to 125 likes. 125 <laughs> likes and we'll do a giveaway. I know I'm terrible, guys. But y'all know I would give away the book regardless if y'all gave me likes or not. It just makes it a little fun, right? So we get up to 125. We'll do a giveaway with this one. All right. Let's see what else did I get here. Um, <clears throat> this one they considered a paperback. So it was only, I think, what well, paperbacks were 50 cents or a dollar and hardbacks were $2. She goes, oh, that's a paperback. So I got this one, I think, for a dollar or 50 cents. I forget. Anyway, I spent $10. I spent $10 at the library sale. Um, and and so it was, you know, <laughs> it was like, you know, got quite a few books for 10 bucks. Um, so this one's called The Shoulder of Giants. It's Stephen Hawking, and it's the great work of physics and astronomy. I know I I, I, I geek out on this. I, I geek out on discoveries. I have all kinds of books on discoveries. Um, hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Malibu's here. Malibu wants to make an appearance. Um, <clears throat> oh, are you are are you having spinning? Are you having buffering, Julie? Oh, this book here, Janet. This one, Janet says she's jealous of that book. This one, <clears throat> yeah. 
so I have a few Stephen Hawking books, but anyway, uh, I don't have this one. I bet this was massive in hardback if it came in hardback. So uh, anyway, mm, let's see what year did this come out? This is 2002 in paperback. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can find the original. Maybe it only maybe it only did come out in paperback. I don't know. I see you, baby. I see you. I know. I know you want attention. Uh, yeah. I, it might have only come out in paperback. I don't know. Oh, you meant the thumbs up counter is. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I gotcha, Julie. The thumbs up counter is spinning. That's when I give away everybody thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. Yeah, I thought I had a washi tape for you, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Eileen. Oh, it's uh, $53 in hardcover. Oh, okay. So I got it for, I think I got it because it was, they, she called it a paperback. So I got, I think the paperbacks were a dollar and hardbacks were $2. So anyway, um, yeah, so let me just, I won't, I won't read it all. Let me just kind of show you some of the uh, the people they cover, you know, like Einstein, Newton. So uh, notes on text. So anyway, um, yeah, if you have never read any books, and you know what I should do? I should uh, bring up some of my books on the history of some of these things. Uh, when I go down and get some juice, I'll grab a, I'll grab a few. I'll grab a few to bring up. Y'all, I know y'all don't ever care if I'm gone for a minute at a time, uh, you know, to take a rabbit trail. So I, I love this kind of stuff. Now, that doesn't, when I say I love this kind of stuff, that doesn't mean I'm going to understand the formulas. That doesn't mean I'm going to understand it all. But I, I understand enough to enjoy reading about the people. Hi, CB. So anyway, that one, uh, Great Works of Physics and Astronomy. Stephen Hawking. Okay, so there's that. I got. I can't wait to take a picture of that piano to show Hubster. All right, got a couple more here. Okay, this one. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all have studied any of the old um, Christian founding fathers, if you will, Augustine. You know, here's a thing on the Crusades, um, the reformers and stuff. Well, anyway, this came. This was there for a dollar. And it was all wrapped in plastic. It hadn't even been taken out of its plastic. It was still wrapped like you would, you'd buy it at the store. And um, now that being said, I don't agree with the theology of all these people. Uh, but if you like, if you want to know anything about the history of the Christian church or anything like that, th these are all good, uh, just basic. I probably have a book on, I know I have a book on Augustine. I don't think I have a book on Gregory. I have lots of books on pie. Um, uh, I got books on um, crusades. Got a book on that. Got a book on that. I got a book on that, and I got a, I got books on Calvin. So I have other books uh, about these people, but these are like little brief little little biographies about them. And so this was two bucks. It's all wrapped, never been opened. And what year did these come out? Um, 1988. So these were from 1988 and never been opened. The thing was still wrapped in its plastic. I think there were two sets of these. So I don't know why. Yeah, it's like Cliff Notes. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, like Cliff Notes, uh, Piccola. But anyway, um, so for two bucks, I, I bought it. Uh, you know, a lot of times I buy stuff for uh, giveaways and, you know. Okay. Came a nice little case. And I thought, this has never, here, let me show you um, some of the things here. I'm not sure if this is like, yeah, these must be other, there must be other sets like this. There must be, this must have been a, like maybe it was a, a subscription service. Like you could buy like a pack of these a month, you know, back in the 80s and early 90s. I mean, I still have subscription. I mean, I'm not still subscribed to them, but I did subscriptions of um, crafts. Y'all remember Eileen's craft subscriptions and stuff like that. I pulled some of those books out here before. So anyway, I got that for $2. Then the last one I got was <clears throat> the, the New Yorker. I don't want to trip over these when I get up. The New Yorker cartoon caption contest book. 
the winners, the losers, and everybody in between. So y'all know I love me some uh, cartoon, art, comics, all of it. I love the art of it. And I love reading uh, biographies and the histories of all of it. You know, I just, I, I, I'm just interested in art and history and biographies. I like all of it. So anyway, I thought for two bucks, I bought these um, uh, submissions. They're submissions like this one uh, was a submission from 2007. Now, you know, I, I don't know how they decided who got in, who didn't. Let's see, what did it start? It looks like it's from 2000. Did it have a date on here? From 2005 was, it looked like the first one I saw here. Maybe from a few years. Let me see if there's any other, if it goes sequentially. Six, 2005 and six, seven, 2007. It looks like it's for three years. So they look like they're submissions for uh, 2005, six, and seven. So, um, oh, and here's the vote. This is quite cool. The vote for them. Okay, so this was the winning one. Second place, third place, top runner. So it breaks it down by uh, who submitted and who won. So that's kind of cool. I'll, I'll, I haven't had a chance to look through this yet. So, yeah, there's that's the New Yorker. Yeah, I was waiting to be open for 31 years. Exactly. Yes, it is, Norma. So, yeah, I got that, that book on the church history. And then this is the New Yorker cartoon caption contest book. And again, $2. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to go get some juice. I'll show you some of those other books. We're, get, we're getting up there. We're at 103. Get to 125. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Before I show these books right here and before I, and before I get back into my uh, YouTube yearbook here, let me just pull in my driveway. Oh, they're just turning around. Uh, I'm going to show these two. And we'll do a giveaway here. So let me run down and get some more juice. And I'll bring up a couple of those uh, books I was talking about that are really good. If you want some history of inventions and science. Now, I'll pull out a few because I'm not going to go through all my bookshelves digging them all out. Although they should be fairly in order. But all right. So give me about. Okay. <clears throat> give me a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I only brought up an armload because I had to get juice and this is all I could bring up. <clears throat> okay, let me move this. Let me move. Okay, I brought up a few. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Okay, Janet. Clutch your pearls, Janet. All right, so I brought up these. Maybe Dee Dee could draw a fish from the book. <laughs> oh, look at 
sip of juice here. Ah. Now my plan, my plan is to work in the YouTube yearbook and I want to make better lists. Well, a continu continuation of the list that I've got. Like I've already done Laura and Zandra and Janet. I want to do APG Jamie. I, well, I have a list and I want to add to the list. I haven't had a chance to really go through the list. So I want to get you guys to help me with the list of people to put in the YouTube yearbook. Now I'm trying to catch my breath. Okay, so I'm not going to do it in depth on any of this. <laughs> I just kind of want to show you some different inventions, discoveries that are, and again, I only brought up one little stack because that's all I could carry. Oh, okay. So, Kia, what's wrong, Pacola? Uh, Pacola said Kia Gillian is in the hospital. Yeah, well, wait, Kat, I'm, I don't have my book handy yet. I don't have my book handy to write it down yet. Give me a minute well, and tell me again in a minute. I was waiting to see. Does anybody know what's wrong with Kia? Um, let me get a pen here. Shadows can. Okay, Kia, Gillian. Okay, I'm writing that down. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I, I don't know any of the deets on that. Jinsei. Okay, thanks, Colleen. All right, so let me show you these real quick. Um, here's one on the calendar. And I'm going to just kind of read uh, briefly. I'm not going to give you ISBN. I'm sure you can just look them up on um, uh, Amazon. Humanity's epic struggle to determine a true and accurate year. Seven centuries ago, a sickly English friar dispatched a strident missive to Rome, addressed to Pope Clement the Fourth. It was I have to think on my uh, Roman numerals. It was an urgent appeal to set right time itself. David Ewing Duncan. So it's about the calendar. Got that? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show them briefly, just so you can get some ideas. Get your reading, get your reading uh, britches on, people. <laughs> okay, Colleen says she told Jean she will be there. Law has several. Okay, thanks, Colleen. Okay, thank you. Uh, this one, I'll send her a get well card. Um, Simon Winchester, and he wrote The Professor and the Madman. And I have that one too, but I don't know if I brought that one up. Y'all know that was just made into a movie. I haven't seen the movie. I didn't bring up the professor and the madman. But anyway, that was made into a movie. The map that changed the world. And let me tell you what this one is. <clears throat> From the author of the best-selling The Professor and the Madman comes a fascinating story of William Smith, an orphan son of an English country blacksmith who became obsessed with obsessed with creating the world's first geographical map and ultimately became the father of modern of geology so hang on my granddaughter messaged me i gotta you know send back a i love you too okay um <clears throat> in 1815 i'm gonna skip down here in 1815 he, this is a whole, like, let me show you the dust jacket here. The whole dust jacket is the map. Let me pull this out so you can see. See, whole map thing here on the dust jacket. <clears throat> In 1815, he published his epical, ep epoch, epic, it's epical, epical, and remarkable, beautiful, hand-painted map, more than eight feet tall, six feet wide. But four years after its triumphant publication, and with his young wife going steadily mad to the point of, well, you know, anyway, she's got, she talks about all her problems. He left London for the north of England and remained 
homeless for 10 long years as he searched for work. It wasn't until 1831 when his employer, a sympathetic nobleman, brought him back into contact with the Geographical Society of London, which had earlier denied him a fellowship. And at least this quiet genius, oh, and at last this quiet genius was showered with the honors long overdue him. So, uh, yeah, that's the map that changed the world. Oh, I got two of these. I think I got one on clearance, so I said I got to buy one. Maybe I, let's see. Is there a reason I bought two first editions? <laughs> Maybe I should do a giveaway with that. Maybe I should just send one to Janet. She'd probably read it. Okay, um, The Riddle of the Compass, The Invention That Changed the World. Uh, turn to detective fascinating story of the invention of the compass. It's a fabulous tale of Chinese lodestones directing the building of palaces and ancient mariners following the flights of birds to reach their destinations. The arrival of the compass in Europe and an understanding of its potential of its potential revolutionized trade in the Mediterranean and ushered in the great age of exploration. Tracking down the roots of the compass and te re and telling the story of navigation through the ages um, as never before. And so that's the story, the riddle of the compass. Y'all still with the tour? <laughs> We're getting up there. We're almost at 125 likes. Okay, the friar and the cipher. Roger Bacon and the unsolved mystery of the most unusual manuscript of the world. And by the way, I have a book on the Voyage Manuscript. Now, can I put my hand right on it? Let's see. Or can I take it downstairs? Hang on, I'm scanning my bookshelves up here. Or did I put it over here? I think I put it over here. Hmm. Nope. 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 Where did I put it? Um, I showed it when I got it. Dang, I want to show you that book and now I can't, I, I need to reorganize this stuff in here, guys. I really need to organize my books in here because I pull them off the shelf to show you guys how to use them. And then I throw them back up on the shelf, not in any particular order. And then I can't find them again. What did I do with my Voyage Manuscript book? found it. Okay, so I bought a book on the the manuscript itself. So this is the one that tried to um, decipher and and the how it was found, <clears throat> where it was found, the history of it. And I did read where there's a father and son team in Egypt, I think, that have deciphered a lot of this. So if you look this up on YouTube, you will find the father and son team. Oh, thanks, Norma. Uh, the father and son team that have deciphered a lot of this. But it's a very controversial, unknown manuscript. And so this is the book. This book here is the actual full, all the pictures of the whole manuscript. This book right here. It's the whole manuscript. This is not... This one is not about deciphering it, explaining it, or anything like that. It just has just a very brief introduction, and then it has the whole manuscript itself. And you can also find it online, guys. It's online. You don't have to buy a book, but, you know, me, I love my books. Well, anyway, that's what this book is about, The Friar and the Cipher, Roger Bacon and the Unsolved Mystery of the Most Unusual Manuscript in the World. So that goes with that. Okay. Okay, now this one is not, uh, this one's just kind of cool. The art detective fakes, frauds, and finds, and the search for lost treasures. So it's about uh, stolen art, missing art. Let me see, there's some pictures in here. And uh, what happened to it? Of course, a lot of stuff got um, stolen and confiscated and stuff during World War II. But anyway, Philip Mould is an art arch sleuth with an uncanny ability to unearth lost art. He has a fantastic eye and the astute sense of history and scholarship. 
the numerous portraits and paintings he has been responsible for bringing back to life not only have added to our artistic culture, but also represent a significant addition to historical evidence and understanding. Now, thanks to Antiques Roadshow, he is himself a national treasure. This book might well be subtitled Inspector Mold Strikes Again. But anyway, art detective, Philip Mold. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, some of it has been Kalora. Go look up, just if you put in here, look, here's the name of Voynich Manuscript. If you put that in YouTube, you'll come across the father and son team. I think they're in Egypt um, that are in the process of deciphering that. Okay. All right, let's make another stack here. So when I go back down, okay. <clears throat> Ferment's Enigma. The, and, and anything by Simon Singh is awesome. Um, the epic quest to solve the world's greatest mathematical problem. Let's see. Well, that's not, that's just kind of a, I want to kind of find a, this one came out and I been, haven't been telling you all the years. This, the paperback version came out in 97. What was, I know it came out in hardback. So it probably was 96. First published in 97. Usually it takes a year for the uh, soft, the, I don't like to call them paperback, softback books to come out after a, a hardback published, usually a year. You're such an interesting, oh, thank you, NYC. I hope this is interesting to you guys. We're at 116, almost up there to the giveaway. But anyway, um, I'm, I got to go through these quickly. Eureka, 81 Key Ideas Explained. I love these kind of books. I love this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> At last, here's a fun to read guide to 81 of the Western world's greatest and sometimes murky, murkiest ideas. Um, so things like Gershon's Law, Illum um, Illuminati de Deconstruction. Uh, let's see what else here does it have. A gold, I'm just kind of skipping through. Brush up your Shakespeare, Freud. Um, but let me just go to the, okay. So, um, all right. I don't want to read them all. I can't read 81. I don't even think I can focus in on these. But uh, things on Greek philosophy, modern philosophy, uh, 19th century philosophy, basic theories on, you know, Newton and, you know, just basic theories. Uh, modern physics, new math. Um, <laughs> genetics, more on psychology, postmodern paradigms, economics. Anyway, you're, you know, Eureka is like when the idea hits you, like the light bulb over your head. Hi, Miss Vicky. I have the best book finds. Oh, thank you. These have been on my shelf for a long time. I mean, most of them, you know, I, I get them new. They're mostly hardbacks, but I have a few that um, that are not. Okay, this is the Island of Lost Maps, a true story of cartographic crime. Miles Harvey. Again, the back is just like a, you know, like a puff piece. It's not really telling you about the book. So this one came out in 2000. So the hardback was probably 1999, 2000, somewhere around there. And um, it talks, it just talks about like how the, you know, the cre imaginary creatures around, around the maps. And I, I wish I had a little blurb to read to you. But anyway, that's what it is, a true story of Cardiff cartographic crime all right i'm trying to get through these quick the map maker's dream <clears throat> again i can't really give you a intro this one came out this is the meditations of fra maru cartographer to the court of venice mm, where is it 1996 the Time Lord, Sir Sanford Fleming and the Creation of Standard Time. The remarkable story of the man who created and, the, and convinced all the nations of the world 
to adopt a unified standard for telling time. Well, I won't read any more of that. You get the idea. And then this one is, it's about time. From calendars and clocks to moon cycles and light years, a history. This one came out. This one's not too old. Two thousand fifteen, and this is a Michael O'Mara book. So yeah, out of UK. All right, so there we go. There's a little stack of some books there. We're almost at what? Well, we're at wow, one hundred eighteen likes. Get up to one hundred twenty-five likes. We're gonna give this away. We have one hundred sixty-something people here. Quickly, people. <laughs> All right, let me check up on chat. Uh, yay, no book or do your book lock Ness monster. <laughs> oh, I like that Nanamo. That's got to go in the wing nut book. Not a book worm. A book lock Ness monster. <laughs> that's got to go in the, that's got to go in the, um, wing, uh, wing nut Nanamo. <laughs> and the wing nut book again for those of y'all that don't know what it is I'm going to go with it on my shelf it's where anybody that says quip, quir quirky quips and quotes goes in the wing nut book because you know we're all a bunch of wing nuts just goes in anywhere <laughs> it's pretty full pretty full <laughs> All right, so now let's see where we're going next. All right, this Bob's gonna watch over this book till we get enough uh, likes. <laughs> it's almost time for hurting cats, yes. Not hurting them, hurting them. <laughs> okay, and uh, and and again, guys, we're gonna I'm gonna go over here to the YouTube. Um, my YouTube yearbook, and which I did, by the way. I don't know if uh, I showed that uh, Laura saw this. But I did put YouTube Fibs yearbook in the cover. And this thing has to stay open, guys. It's so full. <coughs> well, I haven't done stuff. See, I haven't done anything in here. This is my paper to do all these projects in. All right. So real quick, let me show you what I got here over the weekend. From Amazon, I have another one of these coming, not a fish one, but a different one. I bought two of these. There was a cat one, too, but the cat one was like back order or something, so I didn't get the cat one. But I got the fish one, and let me look over here. I think it's supposed to be uh, delivered today. Um, let me go over here to my, let me go to my Amazon orders here. Miss Vicky, oh, she's, I have her on the list. I have Miss Vicky B on the list. Okay, here's the one that's supposed to be. Uh, here tomorrow. Oh, it's now expected on Wednesday. I think they lost it or something. It got sent back. And then anyway, it's this one. It's the one that had this one here. So this is the other one I have coming. The other composition book. Uh, are those expand? Yeah, there's the expanded. They, they're the big discs, Robin. Yeah, they're the expander discs and it's still packed. <laughs> okay, so this is just a comp regular composition book, lined composition book, but you know, it's pretty. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to make, I don't want to make another fluffette or glue book because I have so many other books I'm working in now. I'll probably just use this as a one topic book. Like if I get, um, you know, really in depth into studying one topic, I'll have a book for itself. Sorry, I got the hiccups. A book for itself. So, hi, Christina. I know I'm missing people, guys. Hi, Mama Four. While I was reading. While I was reading. Hi, Judy. Hi, Mark. Okay. Real quick, let me go through the uh, Daphne's Diary. This one was um, number six. I don't know what month this was. I think it's bi-monthly. And uh, they're printed in the UK. And, you know, they're not deep. Uh, about 15 bucks for a magazine. But look how pretty this is. Look at this, guys. It's just like eye candy. Now, there's a lot of good articles in it, too. Oh, here we go. Uh, just number six, 2019. Doesn't say a month. 
Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to do kind of a quick little flip through it. They always have, you know, some homes. They have some cooking. They have some gardening. You know, a lot of things that you can buy for sale. Color book pages. Here's some little cutouts. You can make these little bows. Look how cute those little bows are. So they have the little, you can uh, fussy cut out all these bows. I'll what I'll probably do with these is make them into um, tabs. Like, here, let me cut one out. I think they'd make good tabs like in the yearbook. Because I'm tabbing everything. So let's just cut one out here. Rather than making them into... Uh, Rather than making them into bows, you can make it into a uh, journal tab. And see the back? I like, I like the back side of this one better. I like the polka dots. Okay. So, like, fold it over and make it a tab. I do it sideways. I do it like this, probably. Probably just go ahead and cut this like this like this and you could even have one side one way and one the other so you could show both sides and then glue it on like this see and make a tab out of them cute right hi mary oh mary needs to be yes i have mary in the book i have i, I only started guys i have maybe 10 people in there so i need y'all to help me add to it so anyway i'll probably use these as tabs in my um in my uh, book, in my Fibs, well, YouTube yearbook, because it's, you know, it's everybody here that we, we all interact with. Not just people that have channels, but, you know, um, you like the paper dolls and bows. So let me just kind of flip through here. Here you can make um, make a sandwich bag. I would think it would just make, make an awesome envelope. So I'm just going to kind of flip through things to do with tea bags and make little um, tabs on them. Here's some stickers for your, if you, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, planners. And don't forget, guys, Miss Vicki B, who is here, y'all make sure and follow Miss Vicki B if you like planners. I'm telling you. Oh, we went over 125. We'll do the giveaway as soon as I flip through this book. Uh, Miss Vicki B, she also has a Patreon account, and she does videos and anything planner. I'm telling you, Miss Vicki B. Plus, she has the three cutest little kids you've ever seen. Next to my own grandchildren, of course. <laughs> my, well, my grandchildren are grown. So, um, anyway. Um, yeah, here's, this is, what's this called? Corkles. I would never try to corkles because this is too hard for me to see. This is like a color by number, paint by number. And you fill it in. Like, I guess, I'm guessing this is an Elvis. Anyway, um, you fill it in. It's like a paint by number. And there's no way I can see this. No way can I see those little tiny numbers. I mean, I guess, you know, get a magnifying glass, but what fun is that? <laughs> and gardening, and then this is a school bus thing. Oh, no, a camper. Here's a, a little game you can play. This is like a Mastermind, a paper version of Mastermind. If y'all ever played that, I haven't played that in years. Party, how to do different kind of party things. I'm going to flip through here kind of quick. Uh, more gardening. Here's a little how to make your own little comic book. Comes with a little mini layout for you to make your own little comic book, your little comic strip. And then this can be like a cover or a background. I haven't read all this yet. So here's a thing on uh, Claude Monet. Uh, what's this? Something about I helped Barney with his geography homework. Oh, do you know where these places are? That's what it is. Okay. A vintage plate rack, how to do woodworking. Uh, get to know yourself better. Use your hand and then kind of mind map out your some of your life there. Recipe cards. These are already perforated. You can punch them out. Uh, what is this? Some Oh, it's a little, um, your, it's a pencil case. Look at this. It's a pencil case you can put together. It's a punch out. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's 
look, you can punch this out and you fold it and make a pencil case. Not that I need a paper pencil case. I have lots of pencil cases. <laughs> but this is kind of cool, isn't it? So you fold it. It's got little slots and little things for you to hook them together. There's the little... Make a pencil case in five minutes. Well, I'm not going to make it now. You can see the picture right there. <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the, the, the mods will take care of trolls, guys. And if it's someone that keeps coming back, I can I can ban them. All right, thanks, Julie. Um, let's see. More decorating. How to make a pom-pom rug. That looks fun to see step on but I don't think I'd want to make it <laughs> but that's cool living in the moment just all kinds of, you know there's a cat to color woolen dolls so anyway guys uh, look at this though look at that it's just eye candy all right so that's the new Daphne's diary all right next we are going and don't forget guys and, and a couple of the girls have already said if they see Ilana to I need Ilana's ad, address. She, if she if she's someone said that she said I have her address, but I don't know her real name. She goes by Ilana here. I have no idea who that is. So I uh, you know Ilana, I at least need to know your real name if I have your address. Send it to me again. Okay. Um. Let's see. Hi, Fatal Mess. Faithful Mess. Miss Inspiration. Just saying, Faithful Mess. Okay, so let's do the giveaway real quick, and then I'll show you my awashi swatching that is based on Faithful Messes. And I haven't watched your newest videos, Faithful Mess. She swatches all her um, washi tape. She makes books. She's going to start selling her books of washi tape swatches again, uh, which I will end up getting one when she does. Um, you ready to herd cats? <laughs> all right, let me bring up random.org. So anyway, Faithful Mess is the one that inspired me to swatch my washi tape. All right, I'll show you that as soon as we do this giveaway. Okay, random.org. Okay, so I got my random.org ready. So here's the rules. Listen to the rules. Do not put any numbers in until you see I type in go. When I type in go, Put in one number only. If you see your number being put in, don't go and try to take it off and put in another one. It's the first person. The first person that types in the correct number without going over. First person without going over to between 1 and 100. Okay? I'm going to give away this calligraphy school book. Okay? <clears throat> Don't dilly dally because when I count down and I and and I put in stop, no numbers count after I put in stop. I know there's a little bit of lag. That's why we have two or three mods. Going to double check. So, um, yeah, one number only between one and one hundred. There you go. Go. Now you can go. I've typed in go between one and one hundred. Bob Ross is watching over. <laughs> uh, one number only. Let's see, let's some of this out of the way. Take a sip of juice. I give you a couple minutes, but don't dilly dally. It only takes a second to put in a number. And then we're going to go over into my um, YouTube yearbook. That I'm, I'm loving playing this. I made a page here uh, from when we went to the library sale, one of the bookmarks, and then there's this other uh, museum here, little card. And then what I did is I wrote down all the books that I got from the library sale and made a page. So this is kind of like scrapbook, fibs book, smash book. You know, and I'll show you the other pages I made and who were, and I, and I want to help y'all help me with the list. Okay. <clears throat> so, 
All right, I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Okay. All right. We're going to generate a number between 1 and 100. Here we go. Generate 75. So the first person closest to 75 without going over. 75. And I let my mods take a minute. Let my mods take a minute to, um, I get two confirmations, at least two. Hi, Mary. Painty Girl had 75. Okay, make sure I want two to three people to confirm. Painty Girl. Okay, has 75. So, Painty Girl, I know I have your address. Send it to me again, though, just so I make sure you haven't moved or something, because I haven't sent you any happy mail in a while, Painty Girl. So, Painty Girl, email me your address. It's the first person. Yeah. Okay, let me, Painty Girl, here's my email. And make sure, guys, whenever you send me your addresses, tell me your nickname. Because if I don't know your real name, and you send me your address. I, I don't know if you've won or who you are. So always send me your screen name. Okay. Thank you, Painty Girl. Okay. So that'll go. I'll try to get it ready for time. I'm going to make a special run to the post office tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of thank you to the supporters of the channel going out tomorrow. I got a big stack of uh, manila size envelopes going out tomorrow. So I'll try to get this in the mail tomorrow, Painty Girl. Okay, now, excuse me, Bob. All right, so again, I'm going to bring out over here, before I show you what I'm working on, like here's my page that I did. It's just a quick page. This literally, guys, took me under 10 minutes. I'm not trying to do fancy layouts, composition. This is like a smash book. It goes really quick. Yeah, yeah, it does, Terry. <laughs> Oh, it does, doesn't it? Do you have to go, Terry? I don't want to keep you. Okay, wait, Terry. Let me say bye. Terry can't stay more than a couple hours because she's got her shoulder surgery coming up. Terry, I sent you a card. Did you get that little card I sent you last? I think it was a week or so ago. Okay, let me uh, let me find a little bye bye for Terry here. Turn it on. Let's see here. Why isn't it working? <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah keep us posted terry keep us posted okay thanks terry so again it probably took me longer to write down the books that i bought at the library sale than it did to do this whole page because you know there's not a lot to it if you look at it it's washi tape it's the bookmarks and some stickers and, and that's pretty much it thank you terry so before I go to the people that I'm working on, and I want you to help me see here's some stuff that needs to go in some of the pages. Before I get into this and my list, I'm going to go ahead and show you my washi tape. Um, my washi tape swatching while, while uh, Faithful Mess is here. So Faithful Mess, I'm blaming you. Should I prop that up? Is it a little bit of a glare? Maybe I'll prop it here. There's some tape here. Let me just prop it up with the tape. Uh, just needs a little bit to take the glare off. So I'm blaming Faithful Mess. Um, oh, Anne, you, you can have knee replacement. You got a couple months. Everybody keep Anne in your thoughts and prayers as well. Yes, so Faithful Mess. Uh, now, I know Faithful, you have done a couple of YouTube videos. Y'all make sure and follow Faithful Mess. You'll probably see her videos before I do. Uh, but I have seen her books of washi tape, swatchy books that she's done. It's been, I don't know, she's, she used to do them like some months ago, maybe a year ago, and she's going to redo them again or start selling them again. Um, 
but anyway, so she has a couple new videos out. I, I don't know if she's swatched her tapes, if she's showing her tapes, but she, but the title in her videos is Washi Tapes. So I've got to go watch those. So I did this over the weekend. I swatched all my Washi Tape because of Faithful Mess, <laughs> including the new ones. Now, when I say the new ones, I did not do these. I did not do the little at additions that were, you know, the additions that came on each one. I did not swatch these. Uh, I swatched the big ones, but I did not. And I show, if you missed it, guys, I showed these at the beginning of the show. All right, so I am going to flip through my washi tape. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you see some new ones, Norma? Okay. Now, I can't even tell you how old some of them are. I didn't do them in any kind of order. Uh, if they came in a tube, I throw the tube away. And I put them in my printer trays. You know, I store them in printer trays. So they're not in any kind of order. They're not like to, now these, like these metallic ones, they're, they're stored together. So that's why they got put on here together. But if this one came with that one or that one, no clue. So don't ask me. Don't ask me who made them. Don't ask me what came together because I don't keep track of any of that anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to flip through. So I put them in here because I wanted them in my fun book. It's a fun book to me, a fun, colorful, um, smash book kind of thing that I'm calling, thanks to Laura, YouTube yearbook with the fibs. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of flip through them so you can see them all. Again, have no clue what came with what, except at the very end, all my new ones are together, okay? All these are together because I got these after I, you know, you know, they're the last ones I got. So, yeah, don't email me, right, Mary? Uh, well, it's just, this is just um, copy paper. This whole book is either copy paper or flow book paper, which is thin, thin, it's thin paper very thin. Um, oh, but let me tell you what I did do. Okay. Let me show you. So what I did is I took and I, I went through and I sorted out some of my old three ring binders and some of my flow books and some of my other books. So I have some extra, um, paper here, um, page protectors. So what I did and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And again, guys, this book for me is going to be like a fun book, not overthinking, not o taking a whole lot of time. But what I did for these pages where the washi tape is on, I took a page protector and these are beat up page protectors. You, I don't know if you can tell they're pretty beat up, folded it in half, held it tight, took a scissors, cut it in half. Of course, I think I should get a better pair of scissors. This one's, I cut it in half cut off the end and so now i had this well, let me see, let's see. so i had this like half page protector and it's still attached at the top and then what i did is i took the page now this is bigger but you'll get the idea i took the page i flipped this over the top of it like that taped it down and then i put all my washies on here so if i really want to i could peel these up I could peel them off of here because it's on a page protector. So that's how all the all the washi tapes are stored. They're stored on a piece of page protector plastic that's been cut down. And let's put that tape back on here. It's holding my book up. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let me keep going here. <clears throat> And I like, now, I, I, I don't think I can get one, not one more single piece of paper in this book. So what I do, all the papers that are in here are the papers that I will actually use. See, these are flow papers, and they're very thin, the flow book of papers. So like every other one is like a flow book of paper, and these are the papers that I want to use. There's, there's just regular copy paper in here as well that I have actually cut down myself with the... Um, with the punch, okay, with the white papers in here, I've just punched them myself. Well, the flow book papers, I punched them as well, okay? All right, so anyway, I'm just going to take a moment. And you can just, you know, we'll just pet them for a minute. I can't wait to see Faithfuls. Um, 
Oh my gosh, Faisal, don't even, girl. Girl, don't even go there. Faisal goes, oh, what's that? Who made that yellow one? Who made that yellow tape? <laughs> I don't know any of these. <laughs> well, I might know one or two, but, you know, probably not very many of them. So anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably need another book. Well, I, here's the thing about this book, guys. I leave it open. This book is so fat and chunky. I leave it sitting open, right, when I'm working on it. So I don't have to worry about trying to close it. I, I leave it open because I like it. I want to look at it. When I'm doing pages about you guys, I want it open. I want to look at it. So I don't close this book. <laughs> I don't know that it could be closed. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of take my time here. Here's some small ones. I did get these small. Now these that came, look, these are even smaller. Let me get one that has a darker color. So uh, here, you can see it. These that came with that last set of Japanese uh, tapes. You find the end of this. you got to kind of just run your nail across it till you find it. These I haven't tried to open up yet because I just haven't tried to use them yet. But uh, you can see how tiny this is. Look, it's tinier than the tiny ones I already have. It's pretty tiny. Uh, 16, 16th of an inch maybe. But they'll be good for borders. Yeah, volume. <laughs> you have, you, you've seen Fluffette, right, Judy? You've seen my Fluffette? my composition book yes i swatched them all not these i didn't swatch these but i did swatch all my new ones pecola <laughs> so i'm just taking my time here <clears throat> this just makes me happy to look at it and i know faithful mess feels the same way about hers she has her swatch down. I know it makes her happy just to look at them because they're so pretty. Right? These were some fat ones. I just went down this way with those. These extra wide ones. I just went, you know, uh, horizontal. With, I mean, vertical with those and horizontal with that one. So I just like them. <laughs> what enormous say? Yeah, um, I don't know about you know when you I think once I buy one of these, I really remember what ones uh I re I recognize them. If I see them at the store, I don't really rebuy them unless it's something I love. Like I might if I've came across this tube, I might rebuy that tube again because I really like that and use it a lot, but I don't I don't really accidentally buy rebuy them. Now, what I do is like, for instance, uh, my oxides, my oxide ink pads. You know, I had like six or seven of them. And then Hobby Lobby had a 40% off all temp. Oh, and speak, I got another project I got to show y'all. Hang on. I'll just give you a sneak peek. My Halloween project. Where's Mark? Is Mark still here? With Tim Holtz stuff and Mark's book. I have a project right here. I'm going to share that with you too. <laughs> we got, we, we try to cram in a lot of stuff here, don't we? Do the planner rings come in hubcap size? <laughs> yeah, right. These are the biggest size. I don't have one. Here's the standard size. Here's the standard. That's the, it's called classic size. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Can you see how much bigger this one is? This is the expandable. That's what they're called, expandable size. And they all have hearts in them. But this one is, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Is that a, I'm not sure how big that is. That inch and a half, maybe. I think these are an inch. These are an inch and a half. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, you can buy these separate. You can buy a little pack of them separately and, and expand. This book I made, I have the covers of an old happy planner. This is the cover of an old happy planner and the back of the old happy planner. And all the pages in here, I think all the pages in this particular book, I punched myself from, uh, I punched them from uh, the flow book of papers and then just regular paper. Okay. Um, 
<clears throat> so anyway, what I, let me go back on the uh, Tim Holtz stuff was on sale. Anyway, um, I got some of the, I already had about six or so of the little uh, oxide distress oxide pads. So when they went on sale at 40%, I said, well, I don't really rebuy them. So what I did is I took a picture of them on my phone of the ones I already had. So when I went to buy, I could have just written down the names. I could have written down, oh, I have peacock blue and I have this color and that color. I could have just written them all down. I just, I laid them all out, took a picture of them with my phone. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, I could look at my photo and go, oh, I already got that color. So I don't accidentally rebuy. Yeah, thanks, Bacola. If y'all are talking to me, put it in caps or I don't know you're talking to me. Um, I try to read all the chat, but you know I miss some. So if you if you want to make sure you don't accidentally rebuy something, take pictures of your supplies and keep it on your phone. So when you go shopping, you'll go, oh, let me look and check and see if I have that color. So you don't accidentally rebuy a stamp pad or a whatever, right? Okay, let me turn the page again here. So these I tried to keep like these. I picked out all the ones that had words on them. So these all have words. Some say faith. Fun girls, be kind. This one says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This one says amen. This one says smile, surf, sun, sand, make memories. So these all had words on them. So I kind of, you know, I wasn't really concerned about getting them all grouped. But, you know, if I had them together already, then I put them together in the swatching. Okay. Some more. Are you still with me, Faithful Mess? <laughs> Where's Faithful Mess? She's the swatch. She's the she's the washi queen, Faithful Mess. So let's see what does Cheryl say. Um. Yeah, Mary, do you swatch out your washies or what? Mary, Mary A, Mary Altier, she has um. She has some awesome books. If y'all like in-depth mind mapping type journals that I love doing myself, Mary actually does videos of those. I don't make as many videos of those kind of of those kind of uh, journals as Mary. And Mary does. She'll do Mar Mary marathons. So if y'all want this, you know, if y'all like the uh, the kind of I don't want to call them junk journals because they're not just junk. It's you know swatching, sketching mixed media, all kinds of uh, things that we throw in our journals. Mary has some great ones. Do you have any ideas how to display vintage wallpaper? I uh, just like to look at it. In a book, Mary. Mary. I would put it in not the other Mary. Mary T. Um, if you like vintage uh, wallpaper, put it in a book. Whatever. A journal. Punch holes in it. Whatever you want to do, put it in a three ring binder. But if you just like looking at it, flipping it, just put it in a binder of some kind. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, let me keep going here. I don't, I don't know how many pages I have of them, um, but anyway, so I, I just had fun swatching them out. And again, I'm blaming Faithful Mess. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, who else? I know I'm missing people. I think I said hi to little sister Cheryl. Rochelle, KP. That's okay. I know you You have to answer the phone when it rings, Faithful. I'm just, I'm just blaming it all on you. I'm just saying I'm blaming it all on you. Yeah, I have, other than these washies, my new ones here, they're in printer trays, Mary. I sort mine and store them in printer trays. The old printer trays, yeah, that's how I store how I store them. I have two two big printer trays, just for washi tape. Uh, from your last video, the artist for the Game of Thrones book is listed on. Yeah, KP, somebody else messaged me that too. I don't know if it was you or I don't remember who it was. Uh, I knew that the artists were out there, but I didn't know the page numbers. I because I did say that the artist names were there. But I didn't know the art matching the artist up with the page numbers. She's talking about the color book, the Game of Thrones color book, because there's like six different artists that did that color book. And I saw the artist names, but I didn't see how they matched them up with the page numbers. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you comment? Well, then, yeah. Thank you, KP. 
So, yeah, I'm just keep, so then here's some solids. And again, see, look, they're on plastic. They're on the plastic. So if I wanted to, I could peel them up. If it was like an emergency washi tape moment where I had to have that particular washi tape, I would just peel it up, an emergency one. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, KP. Um, these were all like black and white. So these are, this one's blue, but, you know, I had one left over. So then I try to keep, you know, because that's how I have them in the box. So a lot of things like all the word ones, they're all together in the box, in my boxes. Now, here's where it starts the new ones. These are the first two of the new ones that I got. Those two. And these are all the new ones from that I that I just got that I showed y'all this morning. Thank you, Terry. Okay, so Faithful says, I'll be on again tonight if I can. I need to finish watching my last three bins of regular size tape. Yeah, I have not watched your newest videos on the washies, Faithful. I will have to go watch. I just did not get a chance this weekend. Yeah, but I, I, I will. I got, I got notifications that you did them. So, and then these are the last, this is the last page, I think. Yeah. This is the last page. These and these are all the new ones that I got. And again, the rolls aren't that big in this case. Now, some of these, this is the, like this one is not one of the ones I got. This is not one of the ones that came in the set. I just threw a couple of other ones in there that I'm currently using. This is the size of the washi tape. I'm not sure how many. I mean, there's got to be at least three feet on there. Um but like I said, by the time you use up three feet of washi, you're ready for a different one anyway. <laughs> I know, aren't they pretty, MJ? That's why I wanted them in the book. So I do have two more pages here for new. I can always add another. I'm not adding pages. The thing about at putting the washi tape in this book, I'm not adding an additional punched out page. It's a page that's already in my thick book, right? And all I have to do is add a piece of plastic on it which is not is not in the punch part. It's just wrapped around. And then I can just kind of flip through. It just makes me happy to look at them. All right, so now let's go back to my section on where I've started already. So these are some, this is when Hubster went and saw the Lawrence of Arabia movie. Um, they did a, they went, they went back and showed it again, Lawrence, the old original uh, Lawrence of Arabia movie. They reissued it at the theaters and I didn't want to go sit for four hours. He did. He sat through the whole thing. They had an intermission. And um, what are you doing, Sean? Is your cat sitting on the... Yeah. Is your cat sitting on your computer, Sean? <laughs> it'll, um, uh, it'll automatically kick him for flooding the channel. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, anyway... He went to the theater, so I uh, I kept that because I'm going to do a page on Hubster and the uh, movie. So anyway, these are the pages that I've done so far, and I am going tabbing every one. So this is when Denise went out and saw Mom uh, the end of August, so I wrote the date there. And it's just all it is is smashing a lot of stickers, essentially. Some paper, some stickers, and Mom and Denise, I didn't take any of their... Um, you know, souvenirs or anything like that. I just did this page of them together. Uh, same thing here for Cam and Boo. See, I made my own little tabs here. This is a, I love this picture. So I threw that in there. So I figured that if I'm going to do all the uh, YouTube friends, I, I at least have to have one picture of my family. <laughs> So anyway, I love that picture. And then, of course, I did have to do one double page spread of the cats. <laughs> so again, lots of stickers and washi tape, guys. There's some paper here. This was some scrapbook paper that had houses on it and, and three little pictures of Malibu and Oliver. So, and if any of you that are going to be on the list, if you want your photograph in there, send me a picture. I, I, one of the nice things about this, guys, is you can layer. I can, I can paper clip, I can staple, I can add things back on top and pile it on these, just these two pages. Pile, 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 right? Just tape, staple, uh, washi tape, extra things in. So this is like the base, 
Right. <clears throat> and it's a lot of stickers and, and it's all on thin paper. It's all on thin paper. Okay. There's a picture of Cam. I haven't done this picture of him yet. So let me skip over some of these pictures here. APG Jamie, this, I'm going to work on her page here um, in a minute. All right. So let's, I want to keep going here though. And I'm going to need a pen here. Right. Okay. So this one was Xandra's double page spread. And look, these are just tucked in here under a little uh, seahorse paper clip. Uh, mermaid at heart, this little uh, jellyfish. I love this piece of paper. It looks mermaid-ish. So it's just all paper clipped in there. So you can see, you can continuously add. I have a mermaid paper clip up here. So if I get something else from Xandra that I want to add, a card, a letter, a note, it can just get tucked up under here. I don't care if it's layering on top of each other. But my point in doing these is to promote and shout out YouTubers. Now, again, that doesn't mean you have to have a channel. But, you know, of course, the purpose of shouting somebody out is to send them to your channel. But, you know, I'm going to do other people as well. So, like, here's Xander's shop. Paint and Paper Studio is her shop. Her YouTube channel is Scraps to Beauty by Xandra. So, I'm putting business cards. If, if Xandra sent me a photograph, I'd stick, stick that in here. You see? So, it's it's what's nice about this is the layering up. Or the taping, stapling, paper clipping, whatever. You can just keep adding on to your story, right? Okay, so then the next, and see, I'm putting tabs on everything. All right, so this one, this I put this little sticker tab on here. It says, be happy on Laura's. So again, this is one of Laura's, a little piece of uh, tape there. This is one of Laura's actual watercolors. And her circle portraits, her color book. So, like, for instance, this is her color book that she has published. She's working on another one. And I have colored some of the pages in her book. So this is her color book. And so I have her that information. I have her business card. This is the back side of her business card. Here's one of her watercolors. And, yeah, so it's it's... And Laura's the one that named it year, YouTube Yearbook. So at the beginning of my book here, I have YT, Fibs, Friends in the Box, Yearbook. Okay. And then I made a, uh, this is, again, this is from a flow book. And it had all these little animals. So in, in little doors. So what I did is I put a little gold sticker on each door. So they're easily found. Right. So sitting like here. And then I put some little llama washi tape stuck on this bike. And then it's got all these little animals behind the doors. And so, again, I can always do tip outs, tip ins. You can just keep adding to the pages, right? You like the yearbook, Norma? You're going to put this idea in your Society of Idea Collector Notebook? Yeah. Um, so, anyway... And it's just so easy, guys. You don't have to. Now, remember, you don't have to do it in a disbound. Let me, again, pull down here off my top shelf without everything falling out. <clears throat> this was my original Fibs book. Let me move this. And just a composition book. A composition book. This is Fluffette. This is one composition book with every single page, 100, back and front. So that makes 200 pages. This is a, my original Fibs book in a composition book. I keep it sitting up on a shelf. Obviously, it's never going to close, right? But this is, um, you can use a composition book. None of the pages are glued to get a tab for everybody's name. Uh, it gets a little fluffy and a little wrinkly, but I like that. So you can just use a composition book. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. <clears throat> that sits up on my uh, shelf up there. So I'm just doing, whoops, sorry guys. Just doing another one with the disc bound system. The original Fluffette. I lost the cap to my phone. 
is probably up in Fluffette. The cap to the pin is probably up in stuck in Fluffette now. Um, so anyway, there's Laura. And here, this one is on Janet, who lives on Monkey Island. And we do sock monkeys. And look, here's an example. All right, now this needs to be, I this here's an example of a sticker. This is why I like to glue stickers. Or if you're going to use them as a tab. It, it's still very sticky, but it's not folding over and sticking as my little tabs. I'm going to put a little glue on that and make sure that tab is really sticking down. Okay, it's probably because it's on top of that stamp there. But So anyway, I, I showed you all that, monk, that uh, sock monkey pink and yellow paper. Well, I cut one out. So this is what I'm talking about. You can continuously add. I cut a couple out. One, I just have tucked under a paper clip here. The other one I glued in, peeking out right here behind her, you know, seed packet. Janet does gardening. Here's a little cat paper clip, a little sock monkey ribbon, uh, stickers. This one has a crown on his head. There's Janet's initials. And her channel is Janet M. Young. That's her YouTube channel, which, by the way, she comes on at one o'clock today. Thanks, Norma. I like Fluffette. Yeah, that was the original Fluffette. Years old, right? Way before I was uh, uploading to YouTube. It's back when we we're on Ustream. So um, Janet Gardens and, uh, you know, she, she loves pens and pencils. So I put a bunch of pens and pencils, little stickers. It's it, I did this one on my show, what, a couple weeks ago. And it, it what, took 15 minutes? They don't take a lot of time. I'm not trying to do compositional scrapbook type layouts. It's a, more of a smash book type thing, right? Okay, so then, all right, so here's where I put a whole bunch of little post-it notes down on here where I can add people's names. So I just started a quick list. Uh, I have So nobody feel offended that your name's not on here yet because I haven't start really started this list. So I'm going to do that now. Now, if I, got, if, if I don't catch it, you're going to have to repeat because I'm going to be writing and reading at the same time, okay? So, for instance, like I want to add Sammy on here. Now, she just does, you know, she does color books. And she's doing watercolors and other things now, too. So here's what I, who I have on here. Pages I've already done are Zandra, Laura, and Janet. I'm going to do APG Jamie today and see I don't even have her name on here yet. Did I? No, APG Jamie. I'm going to do hers next. I'm going to do that today because she sent me a letter. So you don't have to just send me something. And if you do send me something, guys, send me a business card, a photograph, a sticker. Don't send me a bunch of stuff. Nothing three-dimensional. Don't send me a big happy mail thing to be in here. Uh, you know, all I need is a, a, is a picture, a postcard, a photograph. Uh, a sticker or two, something like that, just to like a little representation. Yeah, there's like CB. So like CB. All right, so let me just tell you who I'm, and all these papers are just to add to the list. So I got Xandra, Laura, and Janet already done. I'm going to do APG Jamie today. I have Packer Die, Barb, Anne, A Colorful Life, Anne, Mama Fruit Bat, Mary A, Miss Vicky B. I'm going to, of course, do my mods, Julie, T T uh, Terry Trouble, and Pacola, and Eileen. I already did Janet. Uh, I want to do Ian. So I want to do, I'm going to, I'm just trying to make a list now. Jersey Crafter, Mark, which I have his book right here, who he's making these books and selling them. I'm going to do a, um, and I'll show you this other um, stuff I bought here. Uh, I'm going to do a Halloween Edgar Allan Poe theme thing with Mark's book. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Lena, again, Sammy, CB, Ian. Okay, so now I want to start adding things to it. Okay, so if you want to be in the book, like Melody, she, she doesn't do YouTube videos, but she's an integral part of everybody's stream. She's very generous with us, and of course she needs a place of honor in the year, year, YouTube yearbook. Okay, um, so let me look now. I'm going to read again. Uh, yeah, Dev. Okay, and ha I saw Dev did a video tour of his color man cave. Has he done any coloring videos since the man cave? Okay, yeah, Debbie Epps. Yeah, Debbie. 
And again, guys, I just haven't even started this list. I just haven't even really started it. Shauna, Kathy Berg. Hang on, guys. Kathy Berg and Kathy Arbor. Kathy Arbor and Kathy Berg. Okay. You like this idea, Dot? Can you do one page for all the lurkers? I could put your name on. All right, I'll just I'll title that over here. Lurker page. Lurker page. So I'll do a page. I'll at least put your names. So I'll do a page of lurker page names. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. Who thought of that? That was a good idea to do a lurker page. And somebody else says, I second the lurker page. Yeah. Okay, so I, I will do... I'll, yeah, Colleen, I will uh, sort that lurker page out later. Today, I just want to make a list of uh, the people. Okay, did I get out? Yeah, I got Eileen on there. Uh, Teresa P. Teresa. Uh, Teresa P. Yeah, Jean. I'll do a yarn page for Jean. Yeah, we'll have to do a knitting page. We'll have to knit a page for Jean. <laughs> Painty girl who, by the way, won today's giveaway. Yeah, we got Jean. I got Mary's already on here. Mary's on here. Mary A. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the a worker lurker. Yeah, I'll get all y'all lur worker lurkers. Yeah, Norma. Yeah, Norma. And now Norma's going to start doing videos too. Extra reason to do Norma. Uh, let's see, who else? Let me, I'm trying... Uh, Shaleen, who else? Hang on, guys. I'm I'm <laughs> knit a watercolor. Yeah, Nancy. Okay, artsy Nancy, artsy Nancy. And I know, guys. I'm just writing them as fast as I can as I see them. And I, you know, it's not like I have to have them all today. I'm not doing all these today, obviously, right? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I could do lurkers and chatters. We'll do two separate because I mean, sometimes lurkers chat, but you know, some people do more chatters. Like for instance, Dot. Now Dot doesn't do, uh, I don't think she's doing any videos lately, but like Dot. Oh yeah. Faithful Mass. Hang on. Faithful Mass. I need to probably do her soon because I can use up some washi tape. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, oh my gosh. Kenny and Connie. Yeah, Kenny and Connie can go over here. Let me just make a little. I'll start one over here. Kenny, Connie. They don't do videos, but they're uh, watchers. Yeah. Okay. Um, hang on, guys. I'm trying to catch. Yeah, I got Kathy Berg and Kathy Arbor. G Brody. G. She does videos. I love me some G Brody. She's so cute. Yes, Jen reading with pugs. Thank you. And Robin, Robin reading and Jen, Jen pugs and Robin reading. They do, they both do videos. Okay, little sister Cheryl, little Cheryl. I'll get them all eventually, guys. Yeah, I can do Aunt Beck. I don't, I don't really watch Aunt, Aunt Beck, but, um, because I don't, I don't have, not, I just don't have time, but I'm going to add her. I'm going to add her. I don't think she ever comes here, Mary. I got Barb on here already. I got Barb. Um, Lady Jan, Lady True North Jan. She, um, I actually spent two hours worth with her a, a month or so ago, uh, touring her property. It was really awesome. Okay. Let's see. Sean. Coloring with Sean. I mean, that's not his channel name, but I want to be able to know who I'm talking about. Uh, I think I got Colleen on here. Didn't I write Colleen? Yeah, I got Colleen on there. Vicky R. Some of these people don't come here, but I'll I'll try to do a page of them. I'm trying to do people that uh, we interact with, you know, in some form or fashion. <laughs> At least if they're here in chat or something. Um, 
No, no, we don't want to do that, Sherry Bug. You're just opening a door right there, Sherry Bug. Uh, no, Sherry Bug. <laughs> yeah, I got Eileen on here. I got Eileen on there. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, Arlene. Well, I see, you know, I'm going to have watchers and stuff over here. Arlene. And, and I, I'll get all those, too. But I'm going to do, like, their names. Their names will be on that page. Oh, because you're working on your paid-for classes, Dot. Yeah. Judy. I don't think Judy, but you know, she does uh like Judy does uh Instagram. I want to I want the people that we interact with. Uh Vani. Yeah. Oh, let me put Vani over here because she does videos. She's just been sick lately. If y'all have Vani's address, send her a get well card. I try to do that every now and then. Color with Claire. See, color with Claire's another one. I uh she doesn't really come here. Um, she's not like, you know. Really, I want. I'm first. My first ones are going to be people that I interact with. I got Kathy Berg. I got Doctor Dot. You think this is fun, Ashley? Okay, Ashley. Ashley, do you have a channel? See, I, I, a lot of people are speaking up that they're here. Kimberly five five seven. But um, don't anybody get mad, Beth. Don't anybody get, I need some more post-it notes. Don't anybody get mad if I'm not getting you right away. And I'm not going to, obviously, this is going to be a full-time, I mean, you know, a long-time thing. I'm not going to get all this done in, like, you know, a month. Okay. Who was that I was going to get? Oh, there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Mary, I got you. Mary, I got you on there. Uh, yeah, this reminds you of the list we had for October. Yeah, I got Ian on here. No, I'm not going to do, well, I guess, you know, that I'm going to put that on there. Ian said to do the hump day camel. <laughs> Phil, I'm going to write that down here and I'm going to say Ian said it. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to have more lurkers over here. <laughs> yes, it's a new fluffette, but we're gonna we're naming it the YouTube yearbook. That's what Laura named it. She's doing one too. Laura's doing a year two YouTube yearbook of the fibs. Nanamo, yes, Nanamo. Thank you, Sean. And y'all are gonna think of people as we go. This is just, you know, there's Holly D. You know, we're going to see people coming and going all the time. And I'll reread the list every now and then. Yeah, I got you on there. No, I'm not going to do a wing nut. We have a whole book for the wing nuts. We have a whole book for that, Kathy. I've got hundreds in the wing nut book. There's no way I could fit all that in here. Not in this book. Um, I got Malibu and, and uh, Oliver have a page in here, Faithful. You are probably on the phone at work before, and you didn't see it. Look. See, Malibu and Oliver have their own page. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you'll have a quail on yours, Lady Jan. And also, guys, the other thing that I want to uh, reiterate is I'm going to do pages of these, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do them all on camera. There's no way I can do it because otherwise that would be my whole YouTube channel, just doing these. I will do them off camera as well. I'll do them. Um, yeah, Helen Elliston. Yeah, Helen. I will do them, um, and, and people that have sent me color books, I have, you know, I have quite a few of other ones over here. I got a Hubster page, Mary. I mean, I haven't done it yet, but I have a picture for Hubster to put in here too. Um, so I won't do them all on camera. Yeah, all the mods should be here, Ian. You and E.T., uh, Julie, uh, Terry Trouble, Pecola. Uh, Jean, I think I have them all, the mods. Yeah, I, I already did Janet. I already did Janet Page. Uh, yeah, Cheshire Cat. I'll just put Cat because I know when I say Cat, it's always Cheshire Cat. And I got G. I got you on here, G. 
Make your list of fibs so I can catch up with all the names. <laughs> yes, Paula. Even though Paula's not making videos, she still should have a page. Paula. Yeah, Devin Rex. Devin. Um, I don't know who that is, Sean. I want to try to, at least for now, keep it to people I know who they are. I know you guys have other people you watch and like, but I don't know them. I want to do people that, um, uh, yeah, that I know, you know, first. Not that I never watch them, but I'm going to concentrate on the people that come here. Uh, Joycey, or that have channels that I know. Sue's. I'm making a, a list of people that are either lurkers, watchers, chatters. These are lurkers and chatters. And uh, and people that have YouTube channels. And I'm doing pages of them, Sue's. I don't know who that is. Oh, are y'all of the Enabler Army, Ian? <laughs> so let's see. I'm just kind of taking a few minutes. I'm taking a few minutes here to um, write some names. Again, it, I don't have to have them all today. There's AJ. I don't have to have them all today. In NYCA, NYCA. Got, gotcha, NY. Yes, Christine. Christine. She does her, I have, I have one of her color books. And she does a show. She does a YouTube channel. Okay, another. Okay. Yep, I got Connie. Oh, CB. I don't know, Sean. Uh, CB doesn't come here. Uh, you know, I want to try to get the people that are part of my channel first. Okay. Gary Z. I think, Sean, you have a lot of people you watch that are different than the people I watch. Yeah, Mr. Q. Pamela says, I'm a loyal lurker. <laughs> Let's see. Else. I know I know I'm missing people. Lori loves, yeah, Lori. Lori loves Montana. Janet comes on at one. She comes on at 12 Central, Mary. 12 Central. Mila. Mila. Let's make another. <clears throat> Card chick, yeah, card chick, Josie. See y'all are y'all are on it. Yeah, Kim L. You're welcome. May, yeah, May does color books and she does watercolors and other things too. Yeah, I got May over here on the do do videos. Yeah, I know, I know Sherry Bug. So that's what I said. Let's see, Natalie. Um, this is gonna be an ongoing, just like my just like Fluffette was an ongoing thing. We didn't make Fluffette in a, in a week. <laughs> Karen B. We didn't, uh, we didn't make Fluffette in a week, guys. That was years' work. Years of work. You know? Oh, uh, no, I don't mind. Uh, did I write you down, Holly D? I don't... Yeah, I got Holly D over there. Okay. Yeah, Joan. Joan. Let's see. Joan makes stencils. I don't... Does Joan... Joan doesn't make videos, does she? I don't think. She makes stencils. I got Debbie Epps, Beth, and I got you, Beth. Lisa Scott, and y'all keep Lisa in your prayers as well. Yeah, Fluffette took a couple years. You're right, Julie. 
is fun to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna do this one as a challenge to for people to figure out. Uh, Fluffette was asking, you know, a lot of questions. Same, same thing for the All About You. It was asking questions, your favorite colors. I mean, I'll, if you if you send me a a picture, a postcard, or a uh, uh, sticker or your business card or something. You can tell me something about yourself, but I, it's going to be piled on. Again, guys, let me show you here. Let me let me go over here to Xander's page. It's going to be piled on. I can continuously look. I got a little mermaid paper clip here, so I can continuously put things under. Look, look at all the stuff I got tucked under here. It can pile up. It can paper clip, it can staple, it can washi tape. Um, yeah, I got Joan. Did I get you on here, CB? Yeah, I got CB on there. Queen Pam. And I know, guys, y'all are probably saying names are going right by me. So if I don't say it. A prayer section. I have another notebook that's this size for prayers. <laughs> Gee. I have a whole nother book, a prayer book. Yeah, I have a whole nother uh, prayer book. I, I wrote down Aunt Beck, even though I really don't know Aunt Beck, Beth. She doesn't come to my channel, as far as I know. Yeah, Jen Oz. Um, not that, you know, not that these people aren't good. Oh, thank you, Mary, for the super chat. Um. Mary, make sure send me your address, Mary. I, I may have it, but send it to me again so I can send you out a happy mail. Thank you so much for the super chat. And she says, thanks for the inspiration and sharing your talents. I love your laughing humor. Don't email me. <laughs> but you email me, Mary. Email me your address so I can send you out a thank you. People that uh, super chat or PayPal me, I try to send them out something every month. Um, the, you know, if they sent me something that month, I try. I have a big stack that's going out tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Y'all are awesome. CBC Heather. Um, thank you so much, Mary, for supporting the channel. That helps with the postage and things, too. Does she? Okay. Well, I'm, I got her down, uh, Mary. Aunt Beck is just one I just haven't got in my um, playlist of, you know, I have like a little system of how I, how I can get through watching people. Because literally, guys, and I'm not exaggerating, every morning when I wake up and look at my um, my belled, you know, my, my uh, notification, notification YouTubes, I have 50 every morning and I, there's no way I can watch 50 videos every day. So I have to break them up. Like I'll watch two or three of Mary's in a row, two or three of faithful messes in a row, you know, and, and kind of binge watch while I'm, wa while I'm watching, uh, while I'm working on something, I'll binge watch Mary's or faithful mess or, you know, whatever. Right. I don't know who that is, uh, Sean. I, I maybe I'm not familiar at all. Um, and of course, we're just going by the people that are here today. You guys are more of the regulars. Like, there's great. Let me write down here, Gr8. Um, I'm just doing the people that are here today, right? Uh, don't let me, well, I'm not going to ask you. I'll make a note of it. I need to go plug in. I, um, we had roast yesterday and Hubster comes home for lunch at 12. So at 1130, I need to go put the crock pot pot back in the crock pot and reheat up the roast for him to have lunch. <laughs> so at 1130, I need to go put the roast back, you know, the whole pot that you remove, put it back in the crock pot and reheat up the roast for a Hubster at lunch. Um, yeah, exactly. It's unrealistic to watch everybody. And, you know, and that's true of all of us. I don't expect everybody to watch my every single video I do. And the other thing, too, guys, don't forget about you can you can slide through. I do that on a lot of people. If Mary's using a heat gun. Well, I don't know if Mary does Mary use a heat gun. I'm just using her as an example because she's talking to me right now. If someone's using a heat gun and there's heat gunning, zip, 
I just slide that little bar over on two or three minutes. And you can watch a lot of people by scrubbing through, you know, you can scrub through. I, I try to, you know, watch as many people as I can. Yeah, Lean is on here. Lean is on here already, Beth, and so are you. Sean is on here. Colleen's on here. Um, uh, cat and paste. And so again, guys, I, I might reread this on Wednesday because we have different people on Wednesday. So I, I'm trying to get as many as I can. And Mary goes, I use a heat gun. It's okay to scrub through. <laughs> um, I actually put a photograph of my an old throwback uh, Thursday throwback picture of me in here. You know, throwback Thursdays. I have an old picture, a throwback there. I'll show you all in a minute. The picture I picked for myself. A throwback Thursday photo. I think it was 1980. 1980? I think it was a picture of me in 1980. Could have been 81. Somewhere around there. 1980, 1981. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it's an old picture, so it's not that great. But let's see. Did I get you Sherry Bug? Yeah, I got Sherry Bug. So I know I'm missing a lot of people. So we will read... We will read again. Uh, let's see. Um, what uh, I'm thinking of. Uh, there's a few people I'm thinking of. So. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop on this now because I want to go ahead and start on. And again, remember, guys, when you if you decide to do a book like this, you don't have to finish a page. You don't have to finish a page all right now. Oh, Sherry L. Yes, Sherry L. And I hope you're doing well, Sherry. Sherry just lost her mom um, a couple months, a few months ago. Okay, let's see. I got Joan. You watch everything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Um, Colorado. So I want to add people's names. Oh, it's got an A in it. Let me put that A in there. Colorado. So... All right, so I'm going to stop right now on the list making. Um, I, you know, again, we can always keep adding here, right? I mean, I'm not going to run out of post-it notes. I'm not going to run out of post-it notes here. <laughs> okay, so anyway, there's... <laughs> yeah, isn't it a good idea, Nancy? And so, and again, we've been doing, you know, we've been doing this kind of thing for, you know, back when I was just on Ustream. So our Fibs book, um, Fluffette, went back, way back. Okay. Barbara G, Faithful Lurker, Barbara G. And uh, I'll do a, I'll do a, a moment, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I'll do this once a week to keep adding to people. And, um. I mean, you know, seriously, I, I could go through my addresses and look people up, but it's more fun to interact, right? Uh, it's more fun to interact. Okay, so let's go on. Oh, I was going to show you my, my picture from 1981, maybe. I think I still have this. There's Cannon Boo, the cats. So I have pages and you're like, here's a picture of Cam. It's not done. I just stuck it in here. So I can go back at any time and just make a Cam page if I want. There's another cat page. So I have a few photographs in here. I'm going to do one a Hubster. Uh, let's see. Here. And my head's kind of chopped off this picture. This is my 1979. If you all know Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit uh, Trans Am. I used to have a Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. Here's me in 19, it's 1980 or 81. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, on my on my Trans Am way back in the, way back in the day. Eileen can relate. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's, he is Norma most of the time. 
But anyway, so this is the car. If y'all have heard me tell my story about being in a car wreck and going under an 18 wheeler, literally under an 18 wheeler. And then the 18 wheeler throwing me back out into six lanes of five o'clock traffic. This was the car. That was, that was the car that went under. They said that if I, and I wasn't even wearing a seatbelt. They said if I had not had a, the, such a low car, I wouldn't have made it through. So after the wreck, I climbed out the window and walked over to the, every, everybody had stopped by this time. When I stopped at the, at the end of this wreck, I was facing six lanes of traffic. So I climb out the window because, you know, I'm thinking, oh, my door won't open. Well, I get out, climb out the window. I go sit on the guardrail at the side of the road. I look back at my car and it literally looked like a VW bug. There was nothing left of that car except where I was sitting. The driver's seat of the car had a hump over it where I was sitting. The rest of the car was a crumpled ball. They said there was nothing left to salvage from that car but the floor mats. It was. And trust me, people, I believe in angels. So, uh, but that was the car. That was a car that went under an 18-wheeler. Yeah. You want that car now? <laughs> so anyway, there's a picture. I'm, I just thought it was a throwback Thursday. So anyway, um, I want to do, you know, because you can, like I said, you can continuously add things to your page, right? Yes, exactly. Jesus take the wheel for sure. For sure, faithfulness. And I was in another accident. I was in my mom, uh, my mother-in-law's car. And I told you, I won't go into that right now. We don't need to be talking about a whole bunch of car wrecks. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I have a page uh, saved over here for it here. All right, so let me move all the addresses. This is uh, this is um, a page. Jamie's in Texas. Not that she's a necessarily a Western girl, but uh, she sent me this card here. Okay, she sent me a nice card. I'm not going to use the card because I just I don't want to use this card. I love it. It just doesn't to me. This does not represent Jamie. I know that sounds terrible. She sent me the card, but to me, this does not represent Jamie. And. Uh, so Jamie sent me, she has a little YouTube and Jamie has visited. Uh, oh, I need a couple. There's a couple, I just thought of a couple other people too. artistic biker. I, got, I just thought, see, I'm already thinking of more people to do pages. I know. Right, Julie. So um, there's our APG Jamie. And this is her. She's it's on the back of a Joker. If y'all know APG Jamie, the Joker card is so her. She sent me a letter. Now I'm going to read it to you. And I kept the stamp. She says, I saw you were making a new Fibs book. And well, you know me. I, and she scratched out. I don't want to, can't be left out. <laughs> if y'all have ever got a letter from APG Jamie, she is a hoot, a hoot. I know Norma. I know. I can't be left out. So I knew again, I'm smart like that. You would want something really special, like a card with my picture on it. But I'm doing you two better. Indeed, it has three pictures of me on it. So she's got, yeah, she's she's a funny one, this Jamie. Um, and she does have a YouTube channel. So APG Jamie, that's her YouTube channel. Uh, she said three pictures of me on it. That's a like a royal flush without the other royals, right? No need to answer. I know how thrilled you are. Well, to be honest, someone other than me needs to be thrilled about it anyway. And apparently I picked you. Of course, this is not to leave out any of the other dear internets. I mean, they're all, they are all special, but in a different sort of way. You know, wink, nod. Yes, I knew you would get it. Please enjoy petting my card. It's sort of like hugging and patting me on the back or something. XOXO, happy arting, Jamie. P.S. You may read this on air as many times as you like. <laughs> and don't forget how much I love your shout outs. That's my YouTube channel, APG Jamie. She says she put it real big. Oh, just so, oh, she goes, okay, so you love them too. And that's a good thing. But P.S.S., and I'll tell you the story behind this. But you really know I love you, Denise. <laughs> 
<laughs> so when Jamie came to my house, she's she's been one of the, I think, eight people, eight or nine people that have visited me in person. When she came and visited me, Denise was here. She and Denise like were like this. She and Denise hit it off. And so I always accuse my daughter, Denise, of stealing my YouTube friends. So that's why Jamie wrote that. Say hi to Denise. <laughs> and Jamie, she's dyed her hair purple. I actually did a portrait. But look at her little picture. She's got three different poses. She's got three different ones. This one's got her eyes closed. Seriously, laughing. Oh, I see. And uh, she just, I mean, what a clever way to do her little card, right? <laughs> okay, Mary. Uh, I, I, guys, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. I probably will not print out any pictures of you guys. If you want your picture in here, you'll have to send me one. I won't be printing out your pictures. Uh, I did print out Malibu and Oliver. But anyway, if you want your picture, and again, I can just like, you know, stick it up on a paper clip, you know. Jamie, Jamie would probably want me to draw her full face. <laughs> yes, Denise and Jamie are partners in hilarity. That is so true. <laughs> okay, so I am going to, the first thing I want to do is I probably want some kind of paper around this because I'm going to glue this right here. I'm going to glue her letter right in here. I'm going to probably make this a center thing here. Again, I I like this, but it doesn't say Texas to me. So I'll keep that in her envelope. Oh, thank you, Dr. Dot, for the super chat. Oh, Dr. Dot said, thanks for all the streams and fun. I'm going to write you down, Dot, that you're going to have to get a little happy mail. I got a little list over here. And I do have your address, Dr. Dot, unless you've moved. <laughs> Unless you've moved, Dr. Dot, you don't need to send me your address. I do have it. Um, you can pick Pen Penelope. She's my stand-in. Oh. No, Mary. I will just, I'll, you know, kind of like Xandra. Xandra, uh, you know, her thing is um, mermaids and uh, Frida. So that's what I use. I'm not going to print things out, guys. I Really, I'm not going to print things out. I'm going to use what, if you send me something, like your, like I got Xandra's and Jamie's business card, or something that's you, a sticker, a little sketch. Mary, if you want to send me a little sketch of yourself. I have, um, I don't think that you sent, you sent me some happy mail, but I don't think I have a sketch of you. You know, something like that. You know, something where it, that says you. A nothing, don't send me anything dimensional, guys. Don't send me a bunch of, you know, like Janet. Of course, I've already, Janet wouldn't do it anyway because she knows. Don't send me a three dimensional sock monkey. You know, it's not going to fit in the book. It's not your mascot. Okay, uh, uh, Mary. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't do that, Dot. Just the idea that you sent me that, Dot, that's fine. Don't read, Dot, don't. That's fine. Just that you're sending something and thinking of, of us here. Thank you, Gary Z. Gary, send five pounds. You are good therapy. Thank you. And Gary, send me. I don't have your address. I'm going to write your name down here. Gary Z, mixed bag. Do you have a channel, Gary? I don't think I follow you if you do. I will go find you. Um, send me your, your address. And again, guys, just FYI, I do not give your addresses to anyone. None of the fibs. Nobody get your address, and I do not put you on any email list. I'm not going to be emailing you or sending out your nothing. You send it to me, it goes in my Rolodex. <laughs> that's, all it, that's as far as your address gets. It gets to my Rolodex. That's it. Um, so thank you so much, and I'm glad I'm good therapy for you, Gary. All right. So let's continue on here. So uh, the reason I picked this page, look at it, guys. It's got a little cactus. And I know I have some cactus uh, stickers around here. It's got little, little snakes and cactus. And it's just Texas. You know, so that's where she is. I will tell you, <laughs> she's not making a, uh, a secret that she's in Texas. You know, but I'm just saying, I'm not giving out anybody's addresses. Okay, so let me think for a minute. And then don't let me forget, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, it's 1130. Real quick, guys, I got to go plug in the roast. 
because Hubster is going to be here in 30 minutes. There's my lid here for my cap, for my pen. Uh, he's not going to want to eat cold roast. So let, let me just kind of set this right here. Oh, and she sent me these. I love these little birds that she sent. So I am going to kind of intersperse these little birds. I think I'm going to cover up Denise's name. I think I'm going to cover up Denise. Let's just cover up Denise. <laughs> on that page. But she sent me these little birds. So I'm somehow going to incorporate those little birds on the page and that. And then I want to show you, I've also got another Halloween project going with some Tim Holtz stuff. So I did buy some Tim Holtz stuff. I have Mark's book there. I'm going to show you all that in a minute too. Thank you, Kim L. Thank you for all the great content. You're welcome. Thank you, Kim. Let me write this down. Okay. All right. Um, let me run real quick, guys. Let me run down to the kitchen and then uh, I'll show you my project for Halloween and we're going to work on Jamie's page. So just give me one minute. Give me one minute. cat toys all around my feet <sighs> they bring me the toys okay i just had to plug in the crock of uh, the crock pot just so that it heats up from yesterday okay i mean i put it in the refrigerator so i had to it has a like needs 30 minutes to heat up uh let's see hi christine i got into a tim holtz coma love his well painty girl then uh yeah i bought this stuff that I'm going to use in the, my Mark book. So I'll show you what I got here in a little bit. Okay. Oh, catch my breath. All right. So uh, I'm going to get out. Let me get out in here. In my stickers and papers. Um, I know I have a big thing. Now, see, this is the thing. This is why it's hard to do this on the show. Because it's hard to find stuff that I have in my head exactly where things are. But I know I have a page of, I have a full-on page of cactus that I want to use. Oh, but, but you know what? I just came across. This will work. Look what I just came across. <laughs> I just came across a little calendar page of succulents. We'll be using this. <laughs> and then when I find the stickers, when I find the uh, cactus stickers, we'll be using that. Now, do I want to put these along the edge? Do I want to put this here? So I don't want to overthink it. That's one of the things. That's one of the things that I want to do is not overthink it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put some paint or some kind of... Um, what do you call it around this? Um, ink. <clears throat> you know, I got those uh, oxides. So I keep my oxides in this box. I know it's just like, I don't know. so I keep my oxides over here. So again, I have them all. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to need to go with a green. Do I want? I don't think I have an orange one. Eileen will be happy to see that I have all these oxides. I don't have an orange one. I have this kind of a yellowy color. I think I'm going to go with a green. I'm going to go with pine needle and fossilized amber. We'll go with those two colors. Let's get out uh, a little uh, tool. Where's Eileen? <laughs> so let's just set this aside this box i keep i have them just sorted i know where everything is pretty much uh, i might not know where every sticker is i mean like literally every sticker but all right so what i want to do is i'm going to take this page after this is one of the nice things 
about having it in a disc. Let me get a piece of paper here and put this on here. Uh, let me take off my Zandra because this is on the back of the Zandra one. I'm going to turn that over. Let's use a little bit of green. Let's get back up here. Go plug. I did, Janet. Yeah, I just ran down. You might have missed it, Janet. I did run down plug in the crock pot. Okay, so let's use a little bit. So I'm just going to, all I need is the edges. All I need is the edges. And I'm not doing this very well, am I? When you're supposed to kind of go off the page and then come in and be very gentle. But I'm going to just pick up two colors on here because I just want these two colors uh, is around the edge of the of the note. It's going to be around the edge of the note. Eileen's going to email me. Um, oh, thank you, Pacola. If y'all missed it at the beginning of the show, Pacola made a uh, PDF of all my altered, abandoned books. I, sh I know Eileen's going, don't, you're going to mix, you're going to cross-contaminate. I know. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Pacola made a PDF of all the... Uh, abandoned, altered videos that I've made. So she made me, well, you know, <laughs> she made me make a playlist. So I have its own playlist now of all abandoned and altered books has its own playlist. I don't, let me show you that again. Where's my phone? Hang on. She is the best librarian, isn't she? That is great, Teresa. I like that. Pacola the librarian. I love that. That's just so Pacola. Um, let me show you the photo here. Okay. So she made me a PDF of all my abandoned and altered books. Now, this is not my mixed media. It's not my journal. It's not my collage. It's not my posters. It's none of that. It's just the abandoned books. And so um, she made a PDF. She put check marks by all the ones that I found. And then she left the unchecked ones. Where I still needed to put those in a playlist. So it's like a page and a half here. And then the, the particular book, like Abandoned Places, The Heritage, Abandoned America, whatever abandoned book. She has a list on there. She has the links for me of the ones that I missed. Then she has the date, the uploaded date. I think the earliest one goes back to November 2016. So that's when we started the abandoned books was in November of 2016. So that's like three years ago. So now, guys, if you want to find any of my abandoned or altered book project videos, they are in a playlist. And you can thank Pacola. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That's going in the wing nut. Okay, Kimberly. Kimberly557. Pacola is our trapper keeper. <laughs> I don't know what a trapper keeper is. Google it. <laughs> That's got to go in the wing nut. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just keep, um, I'll try to stay on the edge there so I don't cross contaminate it too much. I have other ones of these. I could take this off and put another one on, but you know. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of go around the edge of where the paper is going to go here in the middle. So these are fun for me to do. And again, I'll try to do some of every now and then on camera. But, you know, the bulk of them are going to be done just when I'm sitting here watching a video or something, guys. Because obviously I can't do all of them on camera. Right. <laughs> and it's just going to depend whatever one I decide to pick up at the time. All right. So let me put this away. And then just because Jamie's such a jokester, I think what I'm going to do is I am also going to make, I think I'm going to make her tab these polka dots. 
paper tab can be these polka dots. If y'all saw the show earlier uh, where I cut these out of a magazine. So her page will have that as a tab. Okay. But what I want to do, let me find. I'm going to do like little thorns. <laughs> like little prickly thorns. Oh, because Jamie's just funny that way. So all around the edge, I'm going to do these little prickly thorns, like if they're on cactus. They almost kind of look like uh, bird feet, <laughs> like a bird's walked around. Bye, Gary Z. Thank you for stopping in. Send me your address. Uh, I'm going to, uh, they almost like could be little bird feet, but I'm imagining this is kind of like a cacti all around. <laughs> Jamie is a hoot. If y'all do not watch her videos, you need to go watch her. And she's, I don't know, does she still do musical interludes? Does anybody know? Does Jamie still do musical interludes? Okay, so there's the base page. And then what I want to do is glue this down on top. See? Just so it has something all around the edge. So I'm going to get out a glue stick. Let me put it on this paper here so I can get the glue. The paper that I'm working in in the book is very thin. This is copy paper thin. But by the time you add a whole bunch of stuff to it, it's going to be, you know, thickened up. You got washi tape. You got, you know, you got all kinds of stuff. Speaking of, I think, let me see. Hang on. Hang on, I'm looking through my trays. I have a specific one in mind, but am I finding it? Yeah. Let's just pick a couple of the other ones then. This one. This one. Okay, I'm going to go with these two for now. Like I said, you can always go back and add more. So I'm going to pick a musical interlude. <laughs> if y'all know Jamie's channel. So I'm going to pick this tape here that has music notes. <clears throat> Don't do my page until I send you happy mail. Wait for Okay. All right. Well, Mary, I can always add more. Baby, you're going to have to get down. I can always add more. You know, but I'll, I will wait. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of musical interlude, washi tape. Again, I'm not overthinking this. It's just smash and go. Okay, so there's her musical <laughs> interlude. <laughs> then I want these little birds that she sent. So I will. I won't really cover up Denise's name. Tempting. Oh, wait, what's on the back side? The color of the back side might be better. Nah, eh. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape or glue, glue a couple of these birds down. <laughs> that she sent me. ABG does that ding, ding, ding. <laughs> she, yeah, she does them. And she sings. She sings musical interlude. I, I'm not going to do it. She, I can't, you know. Yeah, just go watch her channel. That's part of what this is, guys. I'm going to do the fibs that watch here, the lurkers, the chatters. But I really want to promote people that are, are you know, making, um, I don't want to cover up Denise's name. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Get down from there. Get down from there, little girl. Yeah. They climb around my room. I have to watch them. Okay, and I did put the postage stamp there from her letter. Okay, I got some more birds. Maybe I'll put them on the other page. We'll see. All right, so I got that. So let me go ahead back over here. I'm going to stick this back in. Oh, and I found some cards. I've been sending these out. I had uh, some, uh, what do you call it, cards? Um, you know, what are those scrapbook cards called? Somebody help me out. Slip my mind. What are these cards called again? 
Project Life cards. Uh, and I found some Project Life cards that I really liked that I want to use, like Make Your Mark, Live, Dance, Laugh. So I'm going to use some of these on y'all's pages. Hey, girl. Hi. How sweet it is. Like, here's a good story. Here's some um, pops. I mean, uh, suckers. Playlist. Another story. XOXO. You make me happy. Maybe that one. I think I'm going to put that on Jamie's. Love this. Candy wrappers. And just anyway. So I just pulled out a few that I really liked that I thought would go well with this project. So, yeah. Okay. So now let's come over here. <laughs> dot did paypal donation through dr dot oh thank you dot i told you not to but thank you thank you dr dot i'm gonna, I'm gonna send you out something i keep a list guys and and again i did get behind on a two or three people uh, but there i have, I have a big stack of manila envelopes going out tomorrow because i'm going to make a special trip to the post office Okay, <clears throat> all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put Zandra back in here. Zandra's on this page. Okay, so I'm going to just paper clip her back on this back side. Okay, then I want to do this little tap thing. So let's put some tacky glue because it's stronger. Stronger than, um, although you who glue, uh, glue sticks my favorite. So I'm going to make some little tabs. Okay. Is this fun? I don't know if y'all think it's fun. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dot. Oh, you think it's fun? Good, Faithful. I'm glad you do. So I'm trying to, you know, I want to promote you guys. I want y'all to, I want you all to, I want everybody that does YouTube videos to succeed. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm liking this. Okay, all right, so let me just glue this down real quick. And like I said, I want to, you know, do a page you know, making it about 15 minutes or so. It's not anything, it's not like scrapbook worthy or something like that. It's to um, promote you guys and just be like a smash book. So again, I can always go back in here and add more stuff if I want. All right, these are pretty, now I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to washi tape that in because I want to be able to see the little joker, joker on the, oh, okay, I'm not going to sing. All right, but this one I want to uh, glue down. A little card. So I'm going to go here down here. You can't see me. I'm gluing. And then I want to show you real quick. I want to show you my other project, the, the Tim Holtz and Mark Halloween project that I want to do. And I'll be doing that in between my uh, I'll be doing that in between my Inktober. <laughs> you like it, Laura? Well, Laura, you're making one. I can't wait to see what you're doing. Okay, then I have this tape. This washi tape is just some a little bit of stripe. See how not overthinking it. Okay, and then this, Jamie, let's see. I don't want to cover up her face, so it's going to have to be on this side. The tape is going to have to be on this side because uh, we don't want to cover up her face. So let's tape this down and flip it this way. That worked out better anyway. There we go. Like that. What do y'all think? And then a little bit more musical interlude. Let's put a little more musical interlude here and there. <laughs> See what I mean? It just has to be fun. Now, I like these birds, but I think I got enough birds on there. It just doesn't need to go. We'll just save that for some other something else. The pages. Yeah. Well, thanks, Chrissy. Yeah. And Chrissy, I have you on the list too. They're not, you know, it's not anything too um, fussy, you know. It's just some, um, let's put a little extra tape on the, what do you call it there, the uh, tab. There we go. Okay. 
So I like that. Um, I think I want an APG somewhere. Uh, I want a sticker. I want an APG sticker. Let me put this back in here. This is the thing that I close it up with, although I never close it. It just stays open. All right. Hang on. Um, let me see. Stickers. I have red stickers. That would be perfect. Let me go into, let me go into the next box here. Sticker box with alphabets. Let's see. Oh, look at these old stickers. I forgot I had these. This would be good. Let's see. I'm looking through my alphabet stickers here. Oh, I just came across some Halloween things. That might be good in my... So you start digging. I know I do want to find my cactus, though. I do have some cactus stickers in here I want to add to Jamie's. Okay, look at these, guys. You remember, Janet, look at these things I just came across. Oh, my gosh. These old, these are old. But I think what I want to do is, I'll, because they're red and Jamie's thing is red, let me, let me see here. I can peel them off. I'm going to do a few little A. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fun guys this is what this is supposed this is supposed to make you happy not a project that you're going to be like judged on you know so i'm going to put a few of these around let's see just to cut make it a little more colorful and the only reason it's cactus is because she's in Texas. <laughs> oh, Anne has about what what did Anne say? What's the notebook system called again? It's it's the base of it's a happy planner. Happy planner, but no planner pages. All it's all just my own punched pages. But it's look, this is a cover. It's those plastic happy planners with the disc system. This one's a smaller one, but let me show you. Like these. The discs. It's all, everything's hooked together by punching and disking. Kind of like the old ARC system, which I think is where Happy Planner invented this from, the ARC system. But there's no planner pages in my planners. <laughs> but if you like planners, go watch Miss Vicky B. I'm going to put her, I'm going to probably do her pretty soon. Okay, I'm going to just add a whole bunch of APG Jamies all over. just because it's fun and it looks cool. All right, we've got a little bit of time left because I want to show you all my uh, Halloween project. <clears throat> so APG Jamie, go follow her channel. And uh, let's see, where can I put another one here? She's a hoot. You know, some people, you just got to watch because they're fun. Even, you know, the projects can be good too, but the they're fun. To, they're just fun. Uh-oh, kind of messed up her. Well, it's okay. <laughs> her G looks like, there we go. Her G looks like a C. Let me fix that. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to put a, a bunch of them in there. Just because I have hundreds of these. <laughs> Uh, hi, Laura Holden. I don't think I, are you new? I don't think I know you. Welcome. If you, if I maybe at some point met you. Let's see. I think I'll do one more at the top just to make it. Yeah, that might be good. I don't think, I don't want to cover up her writing there. All right, so I hope that looks kind of fun. What do y'all think? Does that look fun? It looks fun to me. And then see, I can see she's a joker. She's a hidden joker. <laughs> yes, and that's part of the point, Karen, using up your supplies. Using up your supplies. Exactly.
Hmm. So let me show you. Let's review the ones of the YouTubers that I've done so far. Let's put this on here. Make some space. Okay, so uh, of course I showed you I did my daughter and Cam and Boo and the cats. Go on here. And I again I can add another picture here. I have another picture stuck in here. I could take this picture off. I just tapped it down. And I could put it over here. You know, it's it's just throw it in there, people. Smash it. I got my garden picture. There's my throwback Thursday. And then APG, I think it's going to need another little something there to hold that down because it'll be flapping and it'll be bugging me flapping. Let me get another little piece of that music. And that's a nice thing about washi tape is you can, you know, it'll I just need a little piece to, there we go, just to hold it down so it doesn't flap every time I open the book. Bye, Mary. All right. So there's her letter. Some of the little birds she sent. There's the stamp from her letter, her business card. Here's Zandra. Some extras in there for Zandra. Her business cards. You know, I'll, I'll do somebody else here. Here's Laura. Circle Portrait Coloring Book by Laura Rafferty. Her business cards. That's one of her original Watercolors, this one has a flap. Again, you can add flaps to any of your pages. If I wanted to add a flap to Zandra's, all I'd have to do is washi tape or glue another flap and add more stuff. So it's like, you know, now the rings can only hold so much, and my rings are pretty much, I leave the book open. Hang on, I got to sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm trying to use the pages that I have in here, right? And then I have Janet who comes on at one today, Monkey Island Madness. I have Monkey um, Sock Monkey Tape, Sock Monkey Flower, Little Sock Monkeys Cut Out and Tucked In, Sock Monkey Stickers. Of course, she gardens. She collects pens and pencils. I got those all over. There's her big initials. These are like those mailbox stickers. Like you put on your mailbox. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, yeah. And uh, then I'm starting to collect the names and everything on these uh, little post-it notes. I just, I, I like the way that is. And I'm putting tabs on everything. So that's about all I've got so far in here. Now, again, I've got all kinds of papers in here ready to use. Right? These are flow book papers. And I just have them stuck in here ready to, I can tear them out, cut them out, color put them in a page and then I have like two or three white blank pages in between. So I have some flow. I got some white paper. And of course I've got stacks of this flow paper. It's not going to fit in here, but I have plenty. And then I got my washi tapes, which I showed y'all earlier are in here just because it makes me happy. Okay. So there we go. That is our, and again, let me show you the cover page. The YouTube Fibs yearbook. I have that on this page on a on just a card piece of cardstock. And then what I've been doing is taking all this that I'm doing, all the uh, the pages that I've done so far, and just kind of clipping them together. <clears throat> Just so that I can get right to them if I want. It's easier if you work the work a page in the middle or take it out of the book altogether and then put it in. Right. Okay. And I just leave this book open. I just leave it open and sit over here next to me. Okay. So real quick before we go, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in my Halloween project. So I've got it all in here. Um, I did take some of this out of the packaging, so I can't tell you every packaging. But here's my... This is my project idea. So this is the book Mark sent me. And by the way, Mark, I want to do a page of him. Um, bye, Mary. This is a, a little book that he made faux leather journals, right? So he sent me one, and he does make them, and he'll sell you one. If you, uh, if you uh, get with him, he'll sell them to you. So I'm not sure how many pages in here. One, two, three, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm, I'm guessing four, between 40 and 50 pages. 
uh, page, actual pages. So double sided, about a hundred, right? Fifty, you know, fifty page, forty something pages, and front and back. So you got about a hundred pages in here. So he makes these little faux leather. It looks like leather, right? Little thin journals, and he does sign the back. So here's my idea for this for Halloween. I am going to put Edgar Allan Poe poetry. I might write some out. I might print some out. Uh, but this is going to be my Poe journal. I might do a sketch of Edgar Allan Poe and put it in the front. You know, maybe put a, a little ink drawing of um, Poe in the front. And then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stuff, including this, pa this paper. I'm going to use this stuff to do my Poe journal. Yeah, I could, I could maybe print. If I wrote out the Raven Cat, I'd have to, that would be it. You know, because if I hand wrote it out like uh, calligraphy, I would, if I did write it out, it would be in black letter, you know, gothic. I would write it, I do it in calligraphy and gothic with a pen nib, a dip pen, if I, if I wrote any out. Uh, and, and it would probably take the whole book to write out the Raven. If I did the whole poem, if I did the whole story, um, if I print it out, I could print it out in in old English, smaller than I can write. Then I could get more than one of his poems in here, you know. So I haven't decided, and I might do a little of both. I might do maybe some titles, like I could do the Raven in black letter that's that's the a term for you know gothic lettering style oh, well here let me get that book i gave away <clears throat> painting girl one i'm sure there's some gothic in here let's see uh kind of like that but a little bit more angular um Well, I thought it would have more but it's kind of like this but this is more rounded i would do it more square the gothic is more square but i don't think this book has any i'm not seeing maybe in some of the samples i mean i could put up pull out another calligraphy book to show you but anyway um i want to write it in gothic if i'm going to do poe poe poetry yeah i'm not seeing any uh, black letter in here. <clears throat> so that's the plan for this little book. Now let me show you some of the things that I got to use. First off, these some of the stuff I got, like these two things, this was not Tim Holtz. This was in the Seven Gypsies clearance. Like I think I paid a dollar for each of these. Look at these, how cool they are. They're wooden. They're wood um, clips. Aren't they cool? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of places to print out Gothic, but I'm just saying if I hand wrote it, Nancy, I would hand write it out in Gothic with a dip pen and ink, right? So anyway, I think these were like a dollar. Oh, aren't they cute? And these are the, in the Seven Gypsies, which I don't know that Seven Gypsies making anything new, but the, they were like a, they were marked down to it like a dollar. Yeah, they're wood clips. So I thought those were kind of cool. So I just have them clipped on here on my little um, Halloween stuff for my Mark book. All right, so let me show you some of the stuff I got. Then we'll head out. <clears throat> oh, just to look at it. Yeah, thanks, Nancy. Yeah, just if you want to look at it, you can see it in your fonts. Yeah, it's gothic. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to flip through the Tim papers here. And they're very distressed. They're all very distressed papers. And as far as I know, Eileen could correct me. This is the only size it comes in. Am I right, Eileen? Is this a, what is this, 8 by 8? 8 by 8. I think it only comes in this size. Whoops, I missed one. I think just two of each. Yeah. So if you like the front on one and the back of the other, yeah, Eileen said, yeah, it only comes... It only comes in eight by eight. But look at it, guys. Isn't it cool? So 
So this is the paper I want to use. So I want to decorate the journal. And then if I write anything, guys, I will probably do it on some kind of parchment paper. I'll take some parchment paper and just tear and distress the edges. Even if I print it out, I can still distress it and put it on parchment paper. This would be like borders and stuff, edging, you know. So anyway, that's the plan. That's the plan for the papers in the background. So this paper with my marked book. So this paper is going to be covered up, right? This is all going to be covered up with either paint, ink, paper, printed out uh, poetry, or, or I'll hand write some, maybe a combination of both. All right. Um, this was one of the things that was in the Seven Gypsies. I haven't opened this yet. But I like even the bookshelf thing. This was a seven gypsy. This is on clearance. I'm not sure how much this was originally. And I don't, I didn't keep it. I don't know. But I, anyway, look, see, look at this right here. Just the packaging can be used. But look, it's, it's an old, it's like in a, it's like a plastic. Well, there's a border. I mean, there's like a frame for it. Look, it's like a sticker. It's like a clear plastic sticker of coffee. Now, I'm not saying the coffee's going to go in here, but look, this could. This paper could go in there. Yeah, the Seven Gypsies stuff. Was like, well, anyway, they're marked. At, this was at Michael's. Um, it's, you know, there's not a whole lot there of Seven Gypsy stuff, but it's clearanced out. So, like, this was like a dollar, something like that. Okay, so let's see what else did I get here. Okay. Uh, one of the, I already had, no, 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 no. I was going to say I had one of these things already. Okay, here's some more. Let me show you the Seven Gypsy stuff, too. <coughs> I haven't played. I haven't really looked at this yet. And all this Seven Gypsy doesn't necessarily going to go in this book. The Tim Holtz Halloween stuff is going to go in the book. Um, but anyway, these are some plastic. Um, they're plastic. And it's under the architectural texture. And again, look at the packaging. The packaging, let me get under, so you could use this packaging. But what I liked about this, and I haven't tried it yet, I'm going to try it right now. This is all plasticky stuff, stickers, like they're like the plastic stickers, kind of like this, but this is very textured. So what I'm thinking is, let me get a piece of plain paper here. I'm just have to tear one out of my book here because I don't know where any plain copy paper is at the moment. What I'm thinking is you could do a rubbing. Let me get a color pencil. Here. I'm thinking you could do rubbings on this, Eileen. Let's get a let's get a color that you can see like a red here. The jar is the best. Yeah, that is really cute. Well, let me do it on that just so you can see. It's all the same kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm thinking is you could do a rubbing. Okay. You can cut this out. I don't know why I got these big scissors. So let me get these in. And if you have texture plates, if you guys do embossing, like, like Mark did this embossed here, you could do the same thing. You need a thin paper. This is just copy paper. You want to do it with thin paper so it picks up all the embossing. See how cool? All right, so let's do let's do a little piece of Mark's book here for another example. He did this with an embossing plate. This one might be more. He did this with an embossing plate. If you have embossing plates, you can take your embossing plate and do this over the embossing plate. And, of course, you can go both ways if you want it neater. I'm just kind of trying to show you how you can do that, right? You wouldn't have thought of that? Oh, okay. Well, good. A new idea then. Well, it's not, not a new idea. I've been doing graveyard rubbings. Like, you can do this on uh, uh, 
tombstones, like old, you know, old, 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 old ones. So anyway, but if you want to do, if you have anything that's textured. So let me go ahead and move this to the side. Let's move that to the side. And let's do another, um, okay, like these little tiles here. Oh, well, maybe this one. Well, that's kind of similar to that. Let's do these little tiles. These are stickers, guys. These are just little stickers. Plastic stickers, but they're textured. See, and something like this could be used in your, um, you know, I'm going to, in this po in my Poe book. See, something like that, but I would do it in gray. Let's see, let's do it gray. Let's do it in a, let's see, let's do this one here. So it'll look a little more eerie. And you got to have a light touch. You bear down on it too much, you're going to lose the uh, embossing. See? See what I mean, Vern? Okay, so anyway, I got these. I think they were, I don't know, maybe at $2. I don't remember. Okay, so I got that one. I got this one, which has little button stickers little wheels this one will be a good one to here let's do this i haven't taken them out they're all just stapled in here i just haven't taken them out of the packaging yet let's move, the, move the buttons out of the way let's go to these little gears <clears throat> see Yeah, there's just so many things. Y'all got imagination. Write those ideas down in your idea book. So all these are textured. These are all textures. It's hard to see on camera, but they, they, they're actually textured just like an embossing. They're not as thick. It's not as thick as an embossing plate because they're just stickers. But you could use them to do what I just showed you how to do. Um, okay, this was another one from... Um, these were some stickers also from... Uh, seven gypsies and they're just stickers but look at the look at the packaging that's one thing about seven gypsies they do uh, have different you know these are all stickers look at these right here don't just think outside the box get rid of the box <laughs> dream big so these are these are all stickers Look at the back of this one. Look at that right there. Then some alphabets, more alphabets. And again, this was probably on clearance for less than like two bucks. And I wouldn't have bought these for probably eight bucks, seven, eight dollars a pack. But for a couple dollars, look at the back of this one. But for two dollars, it's the same thing with the rub-ons. Remember those packages of rub-ons that I got? You know, they're normally, I don't know, $8, and they're all on clearance for a couple of bucks. So, again, this is stuff that, you know, I don't know how much of it I'll use at Halloween or any of that. Uh, but see the backs of them. And this is like a wallpaper here. So, yeah, very cool. So if you're, you know, these were at Michael's and they're all clearance down. I, I don't know if they still have them. Um, so there's that. And then this was the packaging that I kept these because they're, they have the uh, spider webs on them. Okay, again, I, I don't usually keep packaging unless it's something I can use. Okay, so this one here, and I've, I've already, I gotta say, I've already mixed them up. This one was frames. This one had frames and then a little bit of uh, uh, chipboard stuff. And then this one had a bunch of uh, cardstock, a uh, faux ephemera stuff. So that's what came in these packages. Now, again, I'm not sure I'm going to remember what everything. I think this goes with that. And then in here, let's see, were these in there? Yeah, okay, this and these frames. Okay, 
So this one, this one came with all these chipboard frames. Okay, Hubster's here. I got to go and lock the door. Hang on, guys. Let me let, let me let Hubster in. All right, so let me show you these real quick. These are like really heavy chipboard. I mean, they're like a 16th of an inch thick. They're really, I mean, they're chipboard, hard chipboard. It came with a whole bunch of these frames. I think there's two of each. It's open! Oh, sorry, guys. Did I, like, <sighs> It's open! I got the uh, meatloaf in the crock pot. I mean, the uh, roast. Okay. Sorry, guys. I need to <laughs> scream in your ears. <laughs> Bye, Norma. And so they're just all different kind of frames. Like, if you remember what um, cabinet cards, cabinet cards came in. So there's a whole bunch of frames that came in this pack along with these. So, like, it, look, an old cigar box. An old uh, wood photograph of an old wood cigar box. And, uh, you know, like warning signs, medicine. Uh, like, look, here's an old chemical laboratory composition book. And all just little different things. A little moth. A little stick. Oh, Lena. I know she's not here now, but Lena. <laughs> Lena, if y'all saw her page. Some old labels. So I'm going to use this kind of stuff. All this stuff here, like look at these curtains. I'm going to use these. You could use it over this too or behind. <clears throat> I'm going to use this in my Poe po book. You have some real ones on <laughs> Mingle. Hi, Art Mingle, by the way. So I'm going to use this in my Mark my Mark Poe book. Again, this would have, you know, some kind of, uh, well, let me get that. Where's this? Here, we go. Mm, here. So if I put, let's say, a spider web on there, you know, and just layer up a book, and I'm sure it'll get chunky, you know, and then maybe a little raven in there, you know, something like this. This is going to be my Poe poetry Halloween book. Okay, that's what this is going to be. So, you know, just all different kind of little powders and artificial eyes. Here's some um, prescriptions. So all this, I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> all this came in this pack. Okay, that's what came in this one. And then in this one... This stuff came. I'm gonna show. I've got a couple more things to show y'all guys, and then we're gonna head out. I just put them in this baggie here. It may no, it didn't come in this one, but it's got all these. These are thinner. These are more. Uh, these are more chipboard. These are more cardstock, right? Well, not even really. They're just heavier paper. <clears throat> like here's a little skelly, a little black cat. You know, some little bugs, little labels. Uh, here's a jack-o'-lantern, you know, so just some different little, they're kind of, they're not too creepy. I don't know. They're not that creepy to me, but all kinds of little creams and ointments and, you know, little Halloween kind of cards. So I thought these would be good in my little Poe. I don't know if there's a raven in here. I don't know if I can see one here. I don't see one, but I've probably got one somewhere. So anyway, um, noise makers <laughs> so i'll use these things as backgrounds and and decorations in my poe book i don't you think what do you think of the idea of, of a edgar Allan poe book writing them out printing them out well i won't mess with getting those back in there right now okay and then i got the um his um what do you call it you know sticker book Word Fetty, Word Fetty book, 
and then well, I guess it's not just words, it's other stickers. Sticker, it's just a sticker book. It has word fatty at the beginning. And then um let's make sure I'm in camera here. So it's just like little tickets and numbers, and anyway, some watches, cigar labels, clocks, key um, locks, key locks. So anyway, do y'all think it's a good idea? I thought it would be a kind of a non, not too creepy. Poe is as creepy, you know, as I probably get. <laughs> and then this was another one. Uh, again, this is another one of those. Um, Plastic, let me take this off here. Plastic stickers that you could use as a texture. I mean, it's an actual sticker. But again, let's go over here with the. Just so you can see. You could also use it as a. texture did you do a Poe and Raven ink drawing I did I did do a Poe drawing in Inktober I think that was three years ago this this year will be my fifth year to to do Inktober uh, let me go over to my Instagram real quick I'll try to find that drawing uh, this will be my fifth year to do Inktober I completed it for four years in a row <clears throat> and one year I did uh, kind of creepy. You know, I mean, you know, creepy, you know, it's not horror. It's more creepy, not horror. Um, let me scroll back to that year here. Hang on. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, Janet comes on at one, guys. Last year I did the cats. I did the cats in costume last year. Like here's uh, Oliver Count Count Cacula. They're all on uh, they're all on my Instagram, guys. Um, let me see if I, I want to find the um, the Poe drawing. Let's see. It wasn't last year. Was it? I don't think it was the year before. I think because the year before that was Kanji. I did Kanji. Uh, calligraphy so you can see here i've got whole month of kanji calligraphy for the the year before so it might have been the year before that so i'm getting back there hang on <laughs> you like the idea of the po poetry book yeah i thought it would be kind of a cool you know and i always do my um i also do, always decorate a pumpkin i always decorate a real pumpkin which, you know, I take pictures of because it only lasts. Okay, here we go. So this was kind of my, this was the year before. So for instance, like here's my, there's my uh, Skelly um, Scarecrow. I've shown these before on the show, guys. Um, but I'll find my Poe. Like here's my, there's some, these were gargoyles. This was three years ago. Here it is. So there's my Raven. That's the one I did for the Poe Raven. But they're all on my Instagram. There's a cat and a rat. Again, I can't get too close because the, it just flashes out. But they're all on, on my Instagram. Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L. -E -L -L. So I started out doing reptiles. I started out doing reptiles and I ran out of reptiles. So then I went into an owl. It was all going to have uh, every piece has some form of Celtic knot. Celtic knot in it. This was 2016. Yeah. This was my Inktober 2016. And uh, so they, they start out with reptiles and Celtic knots. Little turtle with the Celtic knot, and they all had an ink. They all had an ink splash in the corner. They all had ink splashes. There's a dragon eye, um, cobra. So anyway, they're all on Instagram. You can go see them if you want to. Yeah, I did. That was the year I did lizards. I did rep. That was the same year, Ann. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all got some inspiration today out of all this. And um, and with our uh, book of um, YouTube yearbook and all the book the books that we showed at the beginning. <laughs> so in my book haul and little book review, you know, I'm always going to talk about books. I can't wait to take that Laurel and Hardy down and show up. Start this. I have it. I kept it open here, guys. This we we actually saw this episode over the weekend on TV. <laughs> okay, guys. So don't forget, go to see Janet and thanks everybody for participating in our year year oh, YouTube yearbook and being a part of uh, the fibs. All right, guys. Uh, give give the the video an hour or so to fully load up, fully render. So, um, yeah, we'll see you over at Janet's. Aw, thanks, guys. Thanks, my awesome mods. Okay, bye.